range, um, kind of on the northern, northwestern, northern boundary of the monument. Currently at a depth of beautiful, fifteen hundred and forty meters. <laughs> Our superintendent always likes to say that the vast majority of uh, what what is prote in protected waters is actually this deep ocean. So all of this hear. exploration is a I can't hear vastly them. important part of understanding and protecting this place. Ooh. Yep. Oh, we got a sea star coming up. What? Slime star. I don't know why I always forget what S word to describe him. Another hymenaster. <laughs> does he secrete purple. slime or something? Does it what? It does. Isn't, isn't that their defense mechanism, that they if they get bitten, they can secrete slime, kind of like a hagfish? Ooh. Isn't that the slime starry defense? I don't even know a lot about slime stars, cool. but that would make sense. That'd be kind of a cool superpower. Like, if you get hit, then you, like, secrete, <laughs> like, a really viscous <laughs> slime that, like, traps <laughs> their hand <laughs> and, like, engulfs their body, and then you, like, slowly... This got really dark. <laughs> really <laughs> bad. Is that, Here's that my problem with that. something we typically see? This pink guy? Pink eye. Pink um, guy. We try to avoid the video zoom. Yeah, that's oh, wow. that is hemichromium. Yes. Very cool. Interesting. With Not one. swift yeah. What's that? What's that liney looking yellowy yes. thing? Um, There's a crinoid on there. What yeah, are you talking about? Crinoid. Oh, coming down. Coming down. Coming down. But not Oops. on the thing underneath me. Come wide. I sort of see what you're Ooh. talking about. I didn't catch it though. Yeah, I didn't catch it either. It's all right. Oh, what is that, folks? We all know it. Which in, thing? In the middle. Oh, the <laughs> new <laughs> thing. <laughs> things. The so new thing. Walteria. Yeah. Yeah. And a crinoid. Which Walteria? I think you even know that. Not not Fleming Eye. Well, it's not Fleming Eye, so I don't know. There's like one other one we talk about a lot. I know, but I don't remember the name of it. L Luke Harder. It's called Luke Harder? No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Luke Hardy. I was trying to give you a little hint. Wait, Luke Hardy? Yeah. Luke Hardy. Oh, Luke Hardy. Yeah, because I saw it like, it was like Tom Hardy's brother or something. Like, <laughs> Luke okay, Hardy. That's one way to remember it. <laughs> that's the fact. Because I, I remember thinking I couldn't tell if that was actual, like, the name or if I was, if you're talking about some guy. <laughs> <laughs> those tall bamboo corals just are so it awesome. Keeps yeah. getting taller. Where are you going? That one where we were just backing up and it was just more <laughs> and more <laughs> and more. <laughs> that was a lot. Yeah. Big hello to everyone at my school in Marlboro, New Hampshire. Hello, Hello, school in New Hampshire. Hey. Good morning, school. Yeah, yeah, they're awake, are they? Yeah, I know. It's uh, early. It's fun. school time on the East Coast. Yeah, it's That's true. School. It's one fifteen. Six here. hours. <laughs> seven, seven fifteen. Oh man, it's seven o'clock. Yes, yes. seven fifteen. Yes. That's seven still 15. early. I hope your class I realizes didn't. the level of cool that they're yeah, teaching. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your teacher also gets up at. Three in the morning to do ship to shores. Yeah. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's hardcore. Hardcore. The dedication is real. <laughs> I had this realization. I'm gonna do a ship to shore with my sister's class in a week or something, and I had this realization that 10 a.m. for them was not 10 a.m. for me, and oh, that no. I was gonna have to like roll from this watch right into oh, the attraction. That? Oh man. Oh, no. <laughs> Rough. So you're saying you'll be real sharp? Real sharp. Oh yeah, real sharp. Ew, it's just a coral. Okay, that looks like Metallogorgia, right? I think so. Yeah, it's like that flat planer. Yeah, and it's got that uh, uh, the cherry the, the cherry blossom color 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 scheme. Blossoms of the cherries. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. 
mainly on the what? On the plane? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. You got four more minutes of me. <laughs> Uh-oh. What happens after four minutes? <laughs> I go back to being Argus. Oh, green stuff. Ah. <laughs> no more green stuff. Can Girl. you tell me what? <laughs> I get I to cut you off. We zoom on. <laughs> I almost forgot to zoom on the octopus. I am not kidding. But the green <laughs> stuff, we'll get it every time. <laughs> well, what is it? Until you give me a name, I'm going to keep calling Nobody it green knows. stuff and I'm going to keep zooming on it. Nobody knows. Uh -huh. Well, that makes the it next, worth The getting. next zoom won't help us know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think a collection of green things for, for R2R? No. Or or full whatever. Wide move on. <laughs> I mean, like at some point, since we tried to scrape and slurp a bunch of dives ago and it didn't really work too well for this, we're just going to have to find a loose cobble yeah, with the yeah. green thing uh, on it bring it back. and then just pick up a whole cobble with the green with thing the green and then we have a green one. thing. You know, like some that one right there. Yeah, well, see, you want it. Where? We could put it in the bio box. <laughs> some grad student someday is going to be like, I heard of this green stuff and I'm going to base my life on figuring out what it is. True. And they're going to have all of our data to pull from. So. And they're going to organize a cruise and come right yeah. back here and go looking for it and it won't be there. It won't be anywhere. Can you <laughs> zoom on the red thingy? You know. Oh, I didn't expect oh. it to be a little Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yes, it nice. is. And Swift, yeah. Oh, sorry. Come wide. I like the green stuff. Okay. <laughs> it like stands out. It does. It's so rare to see anything green colored down here. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. land, we take that color for granted. And down here, everyone's like, wow. Yeah. And it's... Uh, we make the move, Sim. Zero four five. Roger. Bridge, this is snap. Another move, same step. It's irrationally surprising to me uh, not to see green so often. Like I, I would don't really expect it, but I think my brain kind of does. And then uh, every now and then, when it pops out, it really pops. Yeah. 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 You know what fixes that? Well, Eating lettuce more A green often. filter? <laughs> Living in the desert. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Yeah, I lived in El Paso for a couple of years, and it's uh, distinctly less Thank green you, there. So, like, anytime oh. I went home to visit in the Midwest, yeah. uh, I, I couldn't shut up for a couple of days, like, my first couple of days back about just how green everything oh looked. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't get old. I went, like, even just road tripping in the desert for a month. Yeah. You leave it, yeah. and I, I, like, cried when we drove into Yosemite, <laughs> and it was green and water, and I was like, oh, my God, I've never felt so comfortable. Oh. <laughs> the winter has a similar effect, I think. Yeah. It kind of does, yeah. Yeah, I, I filmed my, like, first year film I went back to Florida to uh -huh. make so everything was green there and when I brought it back no one could give me any useful critique on the movie because <laughs> all they could think about was the color <laughs> just like <laughs> I haven't seen green in three months right uh -huh. oh. <laughs> wow uh -uh. okay you that's one thing I like about Oregon we're gonna switch even in the winter there's so much moss because it's so wet that it just stays green all year, and there's so many evergreens. Yeah, mm. that's been nice because yeah, in the east on the east coast, it does get pretty, pretty not green. It does. Yeah, yeah. Nice. kind of turns kind of brownish in the yeah. winter. You know what I'm seeing a distinct lack of? Hmm. Dead sponges. Yeah, kind of interesting. No more. No we more haven't dead seen sponges. any of those in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know when we transitioned out of that. It's is that on this dive or the other dive? Uh, this there are a few. There are oh, a few the early. we saw those. All the dead the sponges we were yeah. Oh, we did see the fray. You're right. Th that was this dive. That was this dive. I think like there the were other dives. Where the we're other seeing dive more. Had, yeah. Longer. Like all the Walteria that had like fallen off them. Yeah. That yeah. Was like two dives ago. It's interesting with these little snapshots we get of these places to occasionally run into an event like that, like where something seems to be happening, but. I was just trying to remember if that whole C pen field that we were going through was that this dive? That was this dive because that was that nodule field that we spent yeah, like over an hour dive. trying right. to cross That's to right. get to waypoint two. That's right. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be so big, but we needed to ha have a plan to uh, help uh, help the pilots with the uh, the drift thing that we we're uh, working on. Yeah, it wasn't as dense the landscape, but it still is really interesting. Yeah. So 
apparently it's snowing in Vermont and snowing in Michigan right now. Well, oh wow. Yeah, it does that sometimes in April in Michigan. Don't know about Vermont though. I've only been there like once. So it is north enough for that. Very late season snow. So Val, how many more rock samples are we looking for? Uh, I think we have space for one more, so that's probably gonna be something we do closer to the end of the dive. <clears throat> we'll leave that for the four to eight shift, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, so since this is a longer dive, we're, uh, we're uh, spacing out um, the frequency that we take samples. So this isn't like uh, that first dive that we had where we managed to get about four hours in before the weather uh, had us pull it, where we're just like, get all the things. Yeah. No, this one, um, we, we can uh, kind of spend more time uh, just taking in, you know, taking in the sights. But uh, yeah, we are trying to get, um, you know, representative samples from uh, uh, different uh, portions of the uh, stratigraphy of this volcano, both lateral and uh, uh, vertical. So um, uh, there, we, we are trying to do that semi-regularly as, uh, as the, uh, the geology and the biology allow. to see the size of all the rocks varying from spot to spot. Yeah, we're kind of moving in between these uh, areas where you have uh, some tallest fields, a lot of debris uh, that's broken off of these uh, lava flows, and then the in-place lava flows, kind of like what we're seeing right now, and that's where a lot of the, uh, the corals uh, I prefer to uh, put down roots. Speaking of which, yeah. Victor Gorgia and Chrysler Gorgia. <laughs> yeah. Pretty Who's mix the purple one? colors. Victor Gorgia. Victor Gorgia. Okay, it's time for layer number one to go on. Yeah, it's starting to get colder. nice and air conditioned here in the control van to keep the computer equipment nice and cool. Yeah, hot computer equipment is not really a good thing. So uh, this is uh, the climate in the control van is uh, for the computer's comfort, not for us. Sweatshirts are recommended. Or down jackets for some of us. <laughs> True. <laughs> you can't really see it on the, the cam that's showing the yes. control van right now, but in front of the video seat, there's just this tower of computer stuff that goes from floor to ceiling. Lots of blinking lights. Yeah, it's always trippy to look at the parts that move as we talk, mm -hmm. show kind of like the loudness. It's one of the more densely populated areas we've seen up here. What is that like hollowed out rock? Is there like, is the crust missing from that face right there? I, I, it looks like a pillow lava that drained, that like cracked open and kind may have still had gooey insides that drained out. Recently looks like, it looks like it, it's just such a different color. I'm wondering if that's like sediment buildup or if there's some other sort of detritus in mm. there. I don't know. Do you want to do a quick zoom in here to right while you get a chance? That's great. I just want to look at that sediment mm -hmm. pocket there. What do you think? Weird. 
<laughs> All right. We have an interesting Thank question. Uh, any idea how much electrical power the control van uses? Oh. I would say a lot. <laughs> yeah. We have so many screens and so many computers going. Hey. Oh. Looks like we have, we a, have live a sponge fit. coming up. Was oh, it Feria? Is that right? Lila, we actually have a live one. Yeah. A live what? Oh my gosh. It's alive. <laughs> Wow, she's beautiful. What's that right, species? Go ahead. Push it's on a there, Ferraid. Ferraid, that's how I keep saying it wrong. Yeah. Right, you want to go ahead and push on in here, please? Center screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. beautiful. Wow. Dark crinoid on the back, maybe. Oh, yeah, like yeah. a dark yellow crinoid. Sure. Roger. This looks like a costume. <laughs> it does. That'd be a very cool costume. I want to wear that costume. Wow. Cool. Full white, please. I think being Super. a mushroom coral for like Halloween or dress. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> oh, there's a big sponge coming up in the um, Atalanta view. Oh, yeah. Simple, I see yeah. It. yeah. Definitely more going on here all of a sudden. Change of fauna. There's Starting another to see some branched corals of some sort. Yeah, There's another sea yeah. star predating. Oh yeah, coral look at that sea star. Lasers back on. Right. Yeah, we're still we're still at pretty low oxygen too, so. I can't see what it's folded over. Oh, we're getting some more stuffs happening. Yeah. Anything you guys want to zoom on or just keep going? I'm good. Um, I think it's all right. Yeah, let's keep going. Perfect. Thank you. I like being able to see the wire, too. Ooh. Whoa. How far Warm. will it go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long one. So you can get the lasers on it see how big it is. Oh, yeah, that's long. See. Oh, right. I guess the lasers are looking further. So the lasers are 10 centimeters, so... For a second, it's it was on there. A couple of meters, easily. Uh, yeah. Like two and a half. Current picked up over here. Definitely has. Maybe that's why there's more coral. Yeah, look at the background. You can see another really oh tall. Oh, yeah, we've really flattened out here. That's probably also a factor. Yeah. You have that sponge on your left if you want to see it. Oh, this yellow thing here. Yeah. Yeah. And down in the rock here. Should we check that? Is that what you're talking about, Lila? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would we be able to get a quick zoom on that too? Or yeah. are we moving? On the on the yellow. Yeah, yellow. on the yellow thing. Yeah. Get us set up here. Bit of a crash land there. Blink. <laughs> All right, go ahead and push that in there, please. Hmm, that looks like hydrozoans. Or, I'm so bad at telling apart the zoanthids and the hydrozoans, but on a hemicralium. And doing a fine job of it. All right, full away, please. Looks like one of those, like those cool sponges, so I agree. Like glass sponge? Uh-oh. Yeah. Actually, I think they're zoantherians. Look at that. Looks very oh, much like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks like it right there. Is that a little more Victor Gorgia mm. in there? Victor Gorgia. It's popping up a little bit more. Every time I see that, it reminds me of that amazing wall of, uh, was it Stolonifera? That had the oh, same yeah. Oh, yeah. Color. That was cool. Oh. The red 
red red stock yellowish polyps is the swift swift swifty one right yeah what was the one that we were comparing it to though i can't remember what we just saw just now like you know how that was a hemicorallium that had yellow polyps on it but they were separate it was zoanthids growing over the hemicorallium oh. and then this but yeah the swiftia is like that's actually its polyps gotcha hemicorallium i don't have a mnemonic device for that one yet <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like hemi half half a coral, but that doesn't really like speak to the way it looks. Yeah, and it's the one that's all red, so it's like that's not helpful either. Right. Ugh. Because if it was like the like red and and yellowy one, I could be like, oh, well, it's the one that right. has the half colors. Hey, my family's tuning in. All right, oh. family. Hi, Christopher's family. Hello. Hello. I love supportive family. I love that everyone tunes in and they like East Coast morning or or Europe or whatever for this watch. Yeah. If my dad's watching, please let me know. He's not watching, but if he was, hi dad. What Somewhere the out there, the he knows again, you're doing this. Kylie? He knows I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what would you say, Rhett? <laughs> I was asking uh, Kylie what the name of that shrimp was again. I don't know. Oh, the Charidia. I was, was going to say because... To say, um, I'm not trying to say Kylie. I'm trying to say Leela. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I said a pop I quiz. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> New teacher. <laughs> Who it is? <laughs> so, I just, uh, it's, uh, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Not yet, is it? No. no it's 1.30. It's 1.30. Oh, my God. You had me thinking, like, this shit has blown by. <laughs> We're Somebody hit the reset there. button on red, right, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just starting one, to imagine one. my pillow. <laughs> oh, no. Imagine Three these me. pillows. Yeah. <laughs> back to these pillows. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> really bad back support, too. <laughs> yeah, it'd be terrible. It'd be <laughs> terrible trying to sleep on this. Allow me to restart. Probably about 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. Though. Leela, what yes. was the name of the shrimp again? Caridia. Caridia. Yes, C A R I D E A. Okay. So when you see a D E A at the end of a word, it's not day. The A E at the end, people see say day or D. Uh -huh. I say D, but okay. So it's, it's it's okay. It's either it's okay either way, yeah. But that it signifies usually that it's a family level name. Okay. It's okay. a dead language. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Gabby has a um, like a Latin degree. Wow. Or, really? or, or maybe she took a Latin class. I get not <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, either or. Either way, that's uh, Someone cool. did have a Latin degree that she was talking to. Uh, yes, that's what it was. <laughs> it's so cool to have. I mean, like, I remember when I was in invert classes or when I was first learning scientific names that I had to remember. As soon as you actually look at to. Oh, wow, that's so tall. As soon as you actually look into what the Latin names mean and why they're named that, it makes so much more sense and it makes it a lot easier to remember. Raj. Yeah, yeah, I, I wish I maybe had a little bit of that basis of understanding of like the root words, like et etymology of the word, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that. It does demystify it a little. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I like uh, Megaptera novangliae, which is a humpback whale. It mm. means big winged New Englander. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Well. What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> so one of our viewers had a suggestion for a, a costume, an inflatable mushroom coral costume. Oh, oh that'd be oh cool. God. That's, That's a great idea. Puff out the tentacles somehow. That would take some engineering, but... Yeah. You, you know those, like, dancing yeah. fan things? No. Like the, yes, uh, yes. Oh. Like a, like <laughs> Outside the cars. Tall, skinny person, yeah. Yes. The two fan. Get, get a bunch of those for the, for the arms. <laughs> that would work perfectly. And you it. know what? We all go up to the monkey deck, get dressed up in those, and just blow around in the breeze, just like they do in the current. That would be Kinda lovely. Kind of like the, the car dealership little like <laughs> the know. wacky arm waving <laughs> whatever yeah. it is too bad <laughs> that would be pretty funny our tiktok views would go viral it's probably a good thing there aren't cameras up there yeah <laughs> just emulating the mushroom corals just some things breezy. are sacred 
Yes. <laughs> it's not the Big Brother house here. We can't be on stream 24/7. Yeah. Thank goodness. Gotta have right? those secret spots. I like. I like. I like being on SPL, but I also like not being on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> Keep moving. Bridge, this is not another move, same step. All right, waypoint eight has appeared on high pack. Yeah. Woohoo! Eight out of nine waypoints on the planned dive track. And next watch is going to be bored. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find stuff to look at. The blue yeah. water. Oh, that too. <laughs> 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 the ascenders. <laughs> the ascenders. That is awesome. I like that. So what is our watch name? It's zero to 100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We had spin-offs of that name, but what were they? I don't zero to remember. hero. Zero to hero. <laughs> no, it was zero to hero, but didn't didn't we like say other things too? Zero to zero, I think. Was zero one. to zero. <laughs> and then and then Suleiman started calling in ship moves that were like zero to zero. <laughs> 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 That's interesting. Yeah, the bran the way it's branching. Can we zoom on it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Let's do it. Also, is that a Oompa Loompa in the back? Oompa Baby. Loompa, yep. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and Oompa Loompa, you said? Yeah. I didn't. I the, the stock of it. it is in the top of the frame. Well, not anymore. <laughs> this <laughs> looks like some kind of Pinoid. Oh, you're pretty. Yeah. yeah. With all the serpent stars. Um, I didn't catch the umbalula like thing. When we go wide, it'll, I think it'll be there. Okay. Beautiful pivot. Just, it's so incredibly delicate. It's a yeah. little pirouette. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, gonna come partial wide there. That's good. It's got a pretty large uh, nine going on there. Large yeah. base. Yeah, thanks. I was blanking on the word. All right, full wide, please. Oh, do um, I, where it is it? Where's the umbilical? It's it's I there. See you what see the white seeing. stock? I see what you're seeing there. No, no just it's up left. Just left. Oh, I think no, I think it's, it's a it's or, a, 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 a oh yeah, yeah that Okay, now you're confusing <laughs> me. I was is this? I got the stutter going, but it's also a um. It's I was trying to. Uh, I was stuck in between my mnemonic device and the actual word. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, original Gordia, and then I was like, no. No, no, no. It's, we're not there. Oh, it's so annoying <laughs> when your brain one. just gets, like, glitched out like that between two things. Yes. I, I do that so much. <laughs> I have a little tiny stutter, and it's like... Same. My It's like when two people trying to walk through the doorway at the same time. <laughs> 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 the thoughts just keep... But the timing's bad. It's like, you go, no, you go. And they go at the same time again. <laughs> yeah, and you're trying to say, like, two words at once, and it just comes out nonsense. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Same problem. Or sometimes you're just stuck because the word just is, like, somewhere in the brain bank, and <laughs> it's not where you left it. In the brain bank. Nice. In the back of the brain it's bank. Like, it's, like, it's like the words kind of, like, sprout legs and move around if you don't pay enough attention to them in a while. Totally. And just like, where did it go? They go hide in a corner because they're upset. I know you're in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I love this imagery yeah. that you guys got going on here. Words I'm picturing the words legs. with the legs. <laughs> sometimes I flip the first letter. Like, sometimes I'll be like, I want to go to the weekend this movies. Or, like, I'll flip the words. Or I'll flip letters in the words, like Nordob instead of doorknob. Oh, no. Nordob. Nordob? Yeah. yeah, and it just comes out really fast. And I'm like, well, my, what's my brain scrambling for? Have any <laughs> of you ever read those passages where they keep the first and the last letter the same for a word, but they'll completely jumble up all the letters in the middle yes. of the word? Oh, and you yeah. can oh, read yeah. the I whole passage like yes. it's no issue. Yep. That's crazy. Humans are wild. We really are. All right, so I'm thinking about rocks because I think about rocks a lot. 
<laughs> right now, it's no Would you exception. like a sample? Um, not quite yet, but I'm trying to think of, about a good strategy for our last uh, geology sample, because I believe we have one spot still open. Yep. Yeah, um, leave the next watch with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do and <laughs> no boxes to fill. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you did your job. You're Nowhere fired. to go, nothing to pick up. Because <laughs> yeah, once we get high enough, chances are we're going to run out of loose rocks to grab. So mm, I'm yeah. trying to think about how high we can go stratigraphically before we run out of uh, options. But we do have that saddle point before waypoint eight, and those have been proving um, fruitful for rock samples because usually those involve some sort of faulting oh, and okay. a tumbling of rocks because faulting. So I'm wondering <laughs> if that's um, going to be a good target to go for. <laughs> yeah. well, putting some of those classical <laughs> rock marking <laughs> skills to the test here, except underwater. <laughs> You said, like, stra stratigraphic, where I thought you were going to say strategy, and then I went on, a, on this tangent, like, <laughs> stratigraphy. <laughs> this is, like, a really stratigraphic jig move. <laughs> I like that term. We should make that a technical and term. It's really close to tr strategically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Corey Phanoides. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. That was that was great. That's so terrible. what was what the was your plan? Cringing. You, was it up here or like along here and then up? Um, I think we should continue along the side of the ridge and then uh, move north um, up to that Ready saddle to point. There the saddle point. Yeah. So once we're below the south of the saddle point, then move up. I think that would be a good uh, strategy to keep moving. Um, and probably our best chance for like a really late stage grab. Roger Some that. kind of McCurrid. Get any more zoom? Their it's long purple. filaments are so cool. It kind of looks like the Kumba again. It looks like Kumba, but it seems a little big to be Kumba. How big do those normally Then again, get? I guess it's we're zoomed Boy. in. That's probably only like 25 centimeters. That's the kind right. of thing we would pull up, and I'd be like, this is going to be huge, and then it's <laughs> tiny. You know what's funny is that it's actually been these two bigger seamounts that we've surveyed. So Soliday, uh, our last dive, and then uh, Mercury now, where we've been seeing the really good, like really classical pillow lava uh, morphology that we weren't seeing as much of further to the north where the seamounts are smaller and had slightly different mineralogy when we cut the rocks open. So I'm wondering if we're going to see some of that same texture that uh, uh, we were seeing when we were cutting rocks from uh, Soliday open earlier today. Speaking okay, Val, wonder. in in simple terms, tell us about the exciting parts of the rocks <laughs> that you cut open today. So, okay, I'll try. Simple terms. I'll, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, Justin and I were cutting some rocks open uh, after dinner. Just a uh, very fun after dinner activity. And uh, we saw uh, that we had much more of a mineral called clinopyroxene in these rocks than we've uh, seen in uh, most of the previous rocks from uh, the, the earlier dives. And uh, uh, we also had uh, olivine in these, like we've had uh, in most of the rocks up to this point, except a lot more of it. And it's this uh, kind of classical rock texture called an encaramite. And um, having having these clinopyroxenes uh, in, in good condition, uh, is, that's pretty exciting for geologists because uh, these are rocks that uh, we, can, we can use to uh, get a pretty good uh, age determination on them. Uh, their their clinopyroxene is pretty hardy. It, it tends to... Bridge, this is not another uh, move, same step. Sorry for disturbing, go on. No, no worries. Um, yeah, uh, clinopyroxene is a little harder to weather so it it tends to be preserved pretty well in older rocks and so there's uh, there's some information in that that um, we, we can kind of pull out of the rocks uh, uh, better than we can in, in some other things where in some other rocks where we may not have that uh, a lot of that mineral phase or may not have that mineral phase at all 
Um, it also tells us potentially a little bit about um, uh, about the, the the kind of melting that happened to form some of these seamounts. So um, the texture and the mineralogy that we see here is suggesting that um, more like a larger proportion of the source mantle melted uh, to uh, it in these volcanic systems, uh, Solidae and potentially Mercury, which is also reflected in their uh, their larger size compared to uh, the volcanoes that we surveyed further north. So there does seem to be a connection that we're seeing a pattern sort of emerging with the, the larger seamounts uh, coming from mantle that melted more for whatever reason than uh, the smaller seamounts with mm. slightly different mineralogy. So that's something that we'll, we'll have to confirm back in the lab because uh, this is just, you know, preliminary field observations. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting thing to be able to see uh, potentially uh, while we're still kind of in the process of Same uh, here. collecting these. Cool beans. Val, yeah. Val was so happy she was offering cookies to whoever had... Uh, oh, yeah, whoever collected... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, whoever wait, collected wait, wait, we can find this out. What? Which numbers? I know you know the sample 78. numbers. 78. Whoever Sam collected sample 78 Sample 78. Okay, let's review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cut that one open. Uh, it's, this, it's this big rock that we picked up on 1919. And... Uh, a, do you know who collected 78? We Who? did. Oh. We collected 78. <laughs> <laughs> Go zero no to 100. Cookies all Pi around. Pilots up front get cookies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get the cookies wait, wait, from. Wait, 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 wait. We no, could get Cheetos and I'd be just you as happy. Got, wait, you're not going to be happy about this? Uh-oh. Okay. It, it was logged under my name, but the description, I never write that. The only person who writes the things in this description is Diane. So uh -huh. it was Diane's watch. Oh. So oh. They, they, they get cookies. Sorry, everyone. Well, we could all get cookies, you know. I still think Kylie and Jess I think cookies. that we <laughs> should all get we ROV shop ice cream. <laughs> we earned it is. ice Ooh, cream pom -pom we already made. Ebony, maybe? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What do we got? Lila, what are these called again? The, yeah, I, if, you wanna if it's that? the pom-pom, that's a lipanema. If it's the long, flowy one, that's relicanthus. It's like... Pom pom. Hey. It looks pom pom. I it think does. it's lipanema. And then if it has the white spots on it, is that the coralomorph? Yes, it is. Yes. I only like the game when I win. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the game when I lose. You usually <laughs> win. Good. It's out getting out there, better. <laughs> yeah. Pom so pom. Cute. One These of my so students, chill. Hayden, is wondering if we're having any fun. <laughs> I'm having oh, a terrific time. Absolutely <laughs> no totally fun. Miserable. I hate <laughs> everyone hate. in this band. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that we cool, saw right, an octopus? Yeah, <laughs> we just saw an octopus a little bit ago. That was that was super definitely exciting. a highlight. That was so cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Totally not marking off bucket list <laughs> things yes. yeah. right now. <laughs> Uh, somebody's asking if we have any random ocean facts. So many. <laughs> oh my god, so many. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more inspiration than that, probably. Uh, we need, I need to start having go-to answers for these kinds of things. I, I don't have an answer to that, but I have a different... I have a shower thought. Okay. I wish we could do playback of the octopus right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Call remember back. that octopus? And like, I just want to see it again. And I want to play it again. Wait a minute. I didn't even look if Stillcam got it. <laughs> oh, oh, and I can't because Stillcam, like, it, the pictures get oh, oh, periodically yeah, deleted. Yeah. What? Uh, what? Forever and ever. No. Uh -uh. no Not no. immediately. It, it, downs <laughs> it, it downloads it to Nautilus FS, and then they get deleted off of the Stillcam uh, oh, computer. Oh, Roger. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. It would be kind of cool if we had it like a football game where you could just yeah. Mini, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, I'm gonna look if we can find that. To go full on with the t uh, tele. Uh, what is this? Writer is and everything. Rock? I think that's just a rock. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> just a rock. Did you see it? <laughs> Those shadows will but really get you sure sometimes, though. <laughs> they really do, don't they? <laughs> yeah, one time when I was a. Uh, 
much greener uh, geology undergrad. We had uh, we were we were doing a class field trip. And I forget exactly where, but um, we'd just been looking at all sorts of different um, crops and stuff. And not yet. We, we get back to the parking area and start loading back into the cars, and I saw something kind of I like just off the trail. And I asked the prof, "Hey, what on earth is this?" And he just looks at me and goes, "It's urbanite." Yeah. Urbanite. It was a it was a yeah. piece of uh, asphalt that had been kicked up. <laughs> but you went out the right side of my screen. So for those of you wanting to play back the octopus at home on YouTube, uh, it was about 50 minutes ago. Oh, that's oh, nice helpful for my purposes. So. Yeah, when does Megan get up? We need to make this clip. Right about 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, random ocean fact. Our, I mean, our time. There are so many volcanoes on the seafloor. Uh, a lot of them are extinct, but there are so many volcanoes, like hundreds. I don't even know how many. I could do a volcano fact. Go for it. Uh, on average, there's about 40 to 50 volcanoes erupting around the world at any given time. Huh. We just don't hear about most of them because uh, some of them are very remote. The ones that we do tend to hear about are the ones that are really close to where uh, uh, humans live. And uh, yeah, um, so when so you know when. Uh, randomness does its thing uh, and we have uh, a bunch of eruptions happening near um, near where humans live uh, kind of at the same time that's that's that can be a little scary sounding but it's actually just the earth doing its thing it's crazy that the world is big enough that with almost 8 billion people you can still have areas where a volcano can erupt and it's not near anyone yeah, yeah. does that count like Subaerial um, volcanoes. All right, right. I don't you think so. You want to go ahead and start a, a push in here, please? Sure. Yeah, I don't think so wow. because uh, we don't. Well, that's like super nice. a lot of uh, places, especially like down in um, uh, like southern French Polynesia, Cook Austral's area, like we don't have a lot. Of, oh, oh, wow. Oh. Whoa, you did nice. it. You went down the sign. Success. <laughs> that gets a cookie. Okay, okay wait. Oh, I need I your help, folks. Was the yellow, <laughs> green, no, green, uh, was the red crinoid? <laughs> <laughs> you were interested in the green thing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> was the red crinoid before or after the octopus? Oh. Ooh, it was before. It was before? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But like right. shortly before, I think Highly I'm getting close. Very certain, so I'm gonna say bushes. Bridge, this is nav. Another move, same step. Oops. Bridge, this, this is nav. Another move, same step, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think we have a lot of monitoring equipment set up for uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, submarine volcanoes. Yeah. So we we don't necessarily always know when they're they're erupting. Sometimes we do. Like when uh, one of the Tongan volcanoes goes off periodically, we'll uh, we'll be able to pick up like uh, pumice rafts. Mm. Um, sometimes that's the only way that we know that they erupt. Uh, sometimes, if we're lucky, we can pick up like uh, acoustics from an underwater acoustic monitoring station. That's actually how McDonald's seamount was discovered back in the '60s. Uh, hydrophones up that were run by UH uh, University of Hawaii uh, picked it up and they managed to trace it down to the Cook Australs. Um, but yeah, um, we don't always know, so. I don't even know how frequently some of these uh, seamounts are erupt. I am trying so hard to find this octopus content. It was it like around the, at the end of the out. first hour or something. Is that better? The still cam pictures don't have time stamps. Oh, yeah. that's tricky. Really? Yeah. That's where it is. Huh. Like, even from when they were saved? Not that I, there must be, there's probably like a get info situation, but I'm on this Ubuntu Raj. computer and I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, let me see what uh, you're doing. I want to watch. Buttons up on the top that 
let you sort into like list view or like yes exactly view. exactly yeah. well there was yeah there was the list view and you're think and like where it gives you the timestamp options i can see what you're saying yeah properties wait what does that say oh there uh, you go okay 10:51 utc that's that about like an hour, hour ago. ago we need a little after that right uh a little before or a little after that yeah, it's, it's around there it is around there yeah uh also takes so long to load every picture. Val, your mom's watching. Hey, mom. She got to see the octopus. <laughs> Yay! Oh, cool. All right. My mom and sister went back and watched it too. Nice. It's nice when your family can watch. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, you know, we're separated from them and it's nice to kind of feel like you're doing something Thing together totally take your parent to video day or whatever <laughs> i don't know it's totally what it's like. i spy that's a green uh, thing no you don't green you thing. don't see i don't no, know what no, that's a about. different green thing it's still a green thing thing. yeah not for nothing but i might be the grad student that figures this out Whoa. Whoa. i could do it i have got to get my undergrad first but like i could do it hey jane goodall went straight to phd so it could be called... Really? Yeah, she doesn't have an undergrad degree. Wait, wow. what? How do you do that? Uh, you meet Louis Leakey in the middle of the rainforest. I don't know who he is, and I don't like the rain. Well, he, he, he <laughs> died a while ago, so... <laughs> so outlook bleak. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Did, she didn't have a very uh, reproducible path, I don't think. Right. No. <laughs> well, but neither do Did you, she? Kylie. You're yeah. also on your own non-reproducible path do you think it's sorry go ahead Brett. well you know bob ballard so i do there you go there you go and she pilots our ovs i i want to know if we have any inclination as to like what is it a, like a bacteria feeling it doesn't feel bacterial and it doesn't feel like a tunicate and it feel it feels most like a Fungus? sponge oh a sponge but it's so hard. Like, that one we tried to scrape was so thin. I think we need to start a Leela's watch list. Oh, uh, yeah. To go with Chris's. Oh, we Raj. Do. The things we want to go ahead and push on in a bit there, please. So, Val, we had a question That's about uh, you, the rocks Ryan's that you were looking at, Oops, or the minerals. Sorry, I overshot that. Um, were there zirconium crystals in there? Mm. Um, Can I partial away, please? That is a that's not something I'm going to be able to see in uh, hand specimens because um, zir uh, zircon is pretty small in these rocks. Uh, sometimes you get uh, zircons that show up in uh, some ocean island basalts, but that tends to be uh, do a partial zoom? related to uh, contamination, like if it's assimilated a little bit of the lithosphere uh, into the melt. Um, they're not super common, uh, They, uh, at least in... in uh, Ocean Island basalt melts themselves. Um, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's a good question. We'll find out. Maybe. If you do find some, right. can Fair that help please. date the rock? Or um, It could help date whatever rock they originally crystallized in, which would probably be more related to uh, uh, the oceanic crust and lithosphere system that uh, these this? melts are uh, intruding into. Quick so it's, it's not it. directly related to uh, the plume itself. Go ahead and push on in there, please, center screen. That's great. Oh, what is that? Yeah. I was wondering that too. Cool. It looks sort of sure. like Swiftia. Without any polyps, like it's been oh, predated? You it's see like on few. the right, they're poking out. Yeah. I don't know if they're just drawn in. It looks like it was on that rock that got knocked over. Mm. Oops, sorry. Like smaller rock. Yeah, it is small. Very spindly. Oh, Ooh. oh, what's that? oh that's. A, I thought it was a. Oh, what are is you? Is that a little, little jelly? jelly? It's oh, a little jelly. it is adorable. It's so tiny. Okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just parked on the rock. Yeah. Hey, right. do we have any zoom left? You want to look at the jelly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're gonna get a jumpy camera here, but we that's can try. Okay. No, let's try. Go ahead and push on in there, fool. Oh, oh wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. A little 
really a good decision. Resting. <laughs> Just a little jelly right. in I'm the big wide Head world. Out. Pull away, please. <laughs> So yeah, to get, to get an age date on these rocks, um, we look for minerals that formed uh, in situ in, these, in the lavas, so basically crystallized out of uh, these lavas, and uh, like uh, clinopyroxene and, and, you know, if we're getting like plagioclase or something uh, in more evolved rocks, uh, those are pretty good candidates for uh, you can go ahead, pass type the of, vignette again there. Yeah, yeah, type of age dating called argon-argon. Thank you. Uh, uh, age determinations, and uh, that's what one of my colleagues uh, on shore specializes in. So um, we're going to be sending uh, subsamples of rocks with uh, 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 the right kind of uh, mineralogy over to him to uh, uh, try to get some uh, age data out of those. Which institution is that? Uh, University of uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I'm okay. zoomed in. UNLV. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> like, is, uh, start sweating. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady at oxygen levels, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, I went and grabbed that sample when we did because we weren't sure if it was going to come back up or not. Um, but it's been holding relatively steady. I'm getting a lot of in-place pillow, uh, pillow lavas in the stack, too. It looks like so, um... Ooh, starfish! <laughs> oh yeah, eating, hanging, slothing. And one of the other green things, right? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so, the green thing expert there, right? Uh, Victor Gorgia. I'm considering what the name's gonna be. I like really when I discover it. <laughs> green thing a day? No, it's gonna be like a kyle morph or whatever. <laughs> but that's like the, the coral way. So I don't know what the sponge way is. That's actually I like that a lot better. why I was thinking about what does what family is like. What do you want? <laughs> 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 It was a very self-serving line of questioning. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what can I name it? <laughs> Kylie, you have several people enjoying your energy oh. during your watch. Oh. And uh, one of them really likes when you say Raj. Raj. <laughs> Raj. Rajo. <laughs> Roger. I'm happy to say it. We Someone. know you are. <laughs> One of my friends sent me a screen grab of some animal from this, and it just had the subtitles happen to be in it, and it just said, Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be our avatar for this watch? Can that be our name for this watch? Yeah. Roger, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Like Roger, Roger. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the, the energy level. Roger, Roger is low. Roger, Roger, Roger is high. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how we're feeling. Yeah. If we're feeling like very business, like it's a full Roger. Yes. <laughs> File it's like that an away. okay, it's like a Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I might be at Roger, Roger level if we have to get up at eight to uh, uh, offload samples. Oh, God. Which we do. I know. Cannot wait. Zero, four, five. Let's see. Are we even going to have yes. that much bio? We have a single we have a sponge. sponge. Wow. We make another move. I actually don't think I'm going to make up if it's a single sponge. Right. Yeah. Do you want me to keep you in sight? That's that sponge that uh, Chris Raj. wanted okay. that you didn't recognize. Yeah. Yeah, that thing was a tough Ooh, sample. I just gave myself the chills. So these are really big pillow basalts? Yes. Right? I'm okay. coming up on my winch. And not a lot of loose stuff. So, yeah, we're going to take there, a look yeah. at that saddle point. And hope that there's something there, because uh, if there's some talus on that, like I'm suspecting there will be, that's going to be probably our last chance for, uh, it's getting tight. for a rock. It's getting tight for me on the sonar. I mean, I know it's 20 meters, but I don't like it. Yeah, this is impressive. Yeah, this is. This. We haven't Rod seen any rock. sponges in a while. <laughs> yeah, really. We haven't. This has been a low sponge situation, which is strange, because on that very low oxygen dive recently we saw more sponges it was like coral and here we're just seeing tons of coral and no sponges like sponges on sponges on sponges it's like not <laughs> a sponge who's more sponge than you, volcano? Could, you could say sponge on sponge on sponge raj on raj on raj raj on sponge sponge on raj remix <laughs> Careful, you're losing your uh, watch lead. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 hello there. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yep. 
poke your eye out. Watch where you're going, bamboo girl. We're driving here. <laughs> oh, hey, there's your sponge, Chris. There we go. Yeah. Waiting at the top. Wow, look at Achievement this unlocked. Summit sponge. Victor Gorgia, purple. Oh, see it. Water suddenly got a little murkier. It did. did. That was a boundary layer of some sort. I think that's me trying to find the optimal iris, actually. Yeah, we push up the wall. And okay. we got a little further All of a the sudden, wall. the light is so different. Okay, so maybe it's not a boundary okay. layer and Thank it's you. just me. <laughs> I think it's the... No, but the current seems stronger. Is the current stronger? Maybe. Feels like there's more swooshing by happening. The, I think the visual difference was mostly the settings in our position. Okay. Um, okay. But okay. I don't know about the current. Sure. Leila, can I ask you a question? Yeah. <sighs> the one that we see all the time that we want to look down. Yes. Aridigorgia. Aridigorgia. Yeah, they all end in Gorgia. Yeah. This one's Aridigorgia. Aridigorgia. Ar I don't know why Aridigorgia, like in my head, I, like, I'm like i associating that sh that with the shape that these are, but I don't know. Ooh, why? Let's look at the root. Like, why don't we look into the what that why it's called that? I spy a rubble. This might be a good place for a sample if there's a spot where we can put the ROV down. If we can't, or if we need to keep moving, we'll uh, we'll keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Is it cool if I keep a low dose because of our down. stretch? Yeah, Raj, that's a great idea. Oritagorgia. Anywhere around here look good for you there, Al? Uh, I think any of these. Gotcha that. It looks loose. I yeah. could be wrong. I totally agree, yeah. yeah. That is a loose puppy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of our <laughs> loose puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that dog back to his <laughs> house. It's a loose puppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so the... Yeah, you talk about. I'm gonna that. come down. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, one of the smaller boxes open on the in the, uh, the slots or whatever in the uh, starboard D, box. D yeah. is open. So yeah, probably ten to fifteen centimeters is what we're aiming for. Yeah, basically anything where the lasers are looks good. <coughs> so lasers. I think Eridgorgia's beginning of the name comes from the Greek word iris, which means rainbow. <gasps> yes. Oh, cool. I was. Going down the same path. <laughs> Help Sorry. us remember. Do you want to do a DBL reset it's the while high we are mind. sitting here? Okay. Oh, okay. God. Val, what do you think about either that one? Yeah, or go ahead. That, um, that one's pretty big. Craft power's on. Oh, right. well, yeah, so where's the now relay? So any of those. It's on the relay I isolation, think. hotel, DC yep. sense, and DC vendor. Raj. And then oh, yeah. I will be on your kill switch. Yeah, so what does the bender do? That. It's, yeah, those it's, are about the right size. I think it has we're like something 10. to do with uh, yeah. compensation because that's where we get all the, the jerkiness from. Yeah. So okay. I think there's probably like, some feedback loop going on. I have comms, so I will. Yep, thank you. Raj, uh, I'll pull right back. Did not do that. Thank you. And I will turn my heading to see you still. Okay. I have some viewers saying video Oops. is breaking oh up. Gosh. If you could specify uh, if there's a specific video stream or all of them, that would be helpful. And you guys want to tell us straight again what, what the rock that you wanted? Um, any of these right here in the center would be lovely. Okay, and we're going into a small compartment, right? Yeah. Yes, that one. Raj, it's loose. Uh, oh, thank we're goodness. really rolly right now. Yeah. That's not helpful at all, actually. <laughs> Maybe index. How about that one. Sorry, I'm just. Oof. I need to index. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that'll fit in D. The oh, one that the just one fell. in front. Oh. Oop. Sorry. That was a water bottle. What about the one that's right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that falling one looked good. <laughs> <laughs> the one that. Uh, yeah, the one right behind the. Uh, the claws. Can you do me a favor, Jess, and give it to me in bubble also? I just have sure. a little depth perception what is problem. Happening? Oh, I thought you were on the. Are you okay? Thank you. Oh my gosh, oh, I thought you were on the verge of throwing up. I was like, <laughs> Justin, are you okay? Um, how's the weather? 
I'm looking at it's not actually that it's bad. It's 14 knots here. wind. It's pretty good. And the rolls, it's only coming up as like six degrees. Oh, they're really making me work my core. I know. <laughs> this is the one you want, right? Yeah. Raj. Yeah, that looks awesome. It does not actually from my from is that one tougher to grab? Is that t I'm just wondering how about that one that's right behind the claw there? No. Uh, I wanna yeah, give out what I wanna give out what she wants. It just doesn't look that cool and it doesn't and I don't like it. I, I, did, I changed okay. my mind. <laughs> yeah, let's pick out another one then. Okay. There's lots to choose from. Any favorites? What about the one behind the nip right now? Uh yeah, that would be that would be the good. dark one? Yeah, that one's yes. good. Nice I love it. Okay. Let's go for it then. Let's do this. That other one was more under the rock than I thought it was. Yeah. From, yeah. from this view, but I could see it in a bubble. It was like a little crappier. Yeah, the bubble view probably really helped with that because I, I didn't realize it was that under the rock too. Stop <laughs> moving the ship. Yeah, it's funny how the, the roll picked up a little bit right as we uh, sat down. Mm, funny. <laughs> Negative bridge. Sorry, Jess. Oriel is over there just oh, driving us like back it. and forth zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> he knows we're sampling. He's like, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Zavel, is this nice. one for you? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Barely. Ooh, beautiful. That is a good sample. Okay. Okay. Uh, video sampling. zoom. Is it too angular? Is that okay? That is exactly the right amount of angular. Oh, Raj. We are going to cut that open and see what's inside tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take it away. Nice pick on that. Thanks, Val. You're welcome. Full wide. Uh, you might be up against a rock. I'm gonna, like, I just have to can I do it like this? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, this is sample. And 99. is there anything floaty in the starboard bio? Uh, there is a sponge in which? There's one sponge, sponge in, in B or something. C, yeah, C. Okay. Okay, right, but that's that was same same as before. Yeah. Yes. And it didn't so it, float. It stayed pretty put. I'm ready. Raj. Nope. Sponge in B. Yeah. Sponge in B as well, Raj. Uh, just oh, in B. So. I was wrong. Okay. And which one we're we going for again? D. For D. So that's Rock the and uh, D. Most. Sponge and B. Rock and D. Rock and D. Rock and D. I didn't want to accidentally put the rock and B because I said it, so I was like, had to unsay it a couple times. Rock and B. D. D. Rock and D. Rock D and for D. delightful. Letters that sound the same. Okay. Rock and D. Yeah, it's kind of annoying sometimes just how many letters of the alphabet rhyme yeah How do you think that's lined up, Jess? Uh, you're gonna want to wrist down into the box there, and then um, so that we so that you get the fingers in the box, right. and then well, wrist a little bit in bit in board a bit. Yeah, that's looking better. So I can't see the bottom right of uh, Mon Four. Yeah. So all I have is the one on the left. So does that look good there? Uh, yeah. You. To put your fingers a little bit more towards the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, you're very close. Like yeah. That's the, that's looking a lot better. Oh, that's looking good. Raj. I would drop it there. Okay. Opening slowly. Did it's, it go? Was it there? What? I like didn't see it go in. Did it go in? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I, I, I thought, I there thought wasn't I, much place for it to go. <laughs> I just didn't see it I at all. I, I thought I saw it go. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. That was a tough one. Very nice. Nice job. All right. 
Okay. Oh man, that means that uh, our Niskin at the end of the dive. Well, I don't know. I don't know who's. I think up first. these might be like sample one hundred. Oh yes, it does. I was gonna make an announcement when we got there. Um. Oh, oops. did I spoil it? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You're all good. Now we can live in anticipation. Um. Yeah, thinking about this Niskin. The micro, micro Niskins that we took were in very low fauna areas and kind of could count as backgrounds. Wh what do you mean yeah. by micro Niskins? The uh, the tiny little Niskins, you know, the ones that you. They're all the same size. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> so I don't understand. The ones for microbial ecology. Oh, Rod. <laughs> What's going on? Um, okay. They're literally a million times smaller than the standard <laughs> yeah. Niskin. All Niskins were created you equal. Seen them? <laughs> <laughs> They're tiny little vents. <laughs> so we've just collected our last rock sample for geological study. Unless we didn't. Unless we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, I don't know if you want to like hedge your bets and put another rock on top of that one just in case. But I swear it went in. I, I'm, no, I'm I, confident that I, I saw it go in. You. But I, I'm not. Com I'm just not confident enough that I could be convinced it's going to be empty. On <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to feel really bad if it's not there now. That I trust I said the video that, guy. Okay, Raj. Well, so be confident for us I, both, right? <laughs> I'm confident. We're good. Okay, cool. It's there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it didn't go. It didn't go outboard of the starboard file box, so I, it's either it's most likely in D. I saw it yeah. go to D, and I saw it fall into D. So. Oh, yeah, that's great. Sounds good to me. Um. So we want to keep on paralleling this contour for a while. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a really good plan of action. Raj. All right, gonna come up now. Ready for it. Uh, yeah, I'll back up a little to you. These pillows look really cool. They do. Nice. With the crusty sheets on top. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to drop a plate again. Sure. Do you want to, do you want to see, so, yeah. That vignette moves. Is it like a piece of stuff? Um. It's because I was tilting it down, I think, perhaps. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. It might just be a function of the porch light, too. Because mm. if we were to do this, I think it causes a different reflection. It's still there. Oh, just kidding. Oh, yeah, the porch light's on. Let's see. If I turn it off, do you want to see if it's still there? It's gone. Okay. Yeah. It is a porch light. You want to pitch a plate? Kinda. Maybe I'll maybe I'll hold off because I'm still floaty at 26. It's okay. Okay. Thank you though. Yeah, you can go ahead and start. That's move there, Solomon. Zero four five. Zero four five, Raj. Bridge. Mm. This is Nav. Another move bearing zero four five, 50 meters. Oh yeah, you can see here this pillow cracked open and, and its interior yeah. drained out a little bit. It's got a little uh, tongue of lava that came out and there's a little gap up here. Cool. Yeah, sometimes they break open when things are still gooey. I wish we could have seen it then. Oh, right. Yeah. I know. Ooh, that little guy. Body. So neat, that <gasps> formation there. Yeah. Mm. You get an, oh, what's up? When you see an intact stack of pillows like this, they get that kind of wormy yeah, appearance. It's, it's almost otherworldly. Wow. A lot of coral. Look at that. Yeah. Definitely mm. get a nice color montage. Yeah. Yeah, Good it's pretty diverse diversity. right here. It is.
So Lynn, would you mind switching over to the reset source as the USPL? Reset? Instead of cursor. Okay. You ready for it? Yeah, what go ahead. What is that? I just can't tell what that is. I thought it was sediment, like sediment. Maybe. It might be. Oh, Thank yeah, you. you're right, it is. Uh, my brain is not processing that very easily. <laughs> it looked weird to me, too. Yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely worth looking at. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's kind of like that, parent, how do you say it, pareidolia effect, where sometimes your brain is seeing, like, kind of making... Uh, you know, like seeing faces or seeing yeah. features out of something that's actually kind of random. Well, without depth perception, it's hard to tell the difference between a patch of sediment and mm -hmm. a thing sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing we've Ooh. been doing with the rocks off yeah. and on, too, where yeah. they get the, that shadow, shadow that looks funny. Mm -hmm. This yeah. long flow tube thing. Yeah. It's a long pillow, yeah. Yeah. Whole stack of Body pillow. <laughs> Body pillow. <laughs> that sounds up. amazing right now. <laughs> See oh more my cup gosh. Curl corals again. Where? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like surprise cup corals. Yeah, we saw so many on the last dive, and then none here for a long time. And then there were like a couple that kind of showed up uh, during the previous watch, and yeah, now we're suddenly seeing them up here. Val, you remember the rock I showed you that uh, I, I, I quizzed myself on? Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> the porch nugget. Yes, the porch nugget. Um, w would you buy that it was a cup coral on it? I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, but could you buy that it was a cup coral? <laughs> <laughs> like, could you be convinced that it might have been? Is it like, because it's kind of like tiny enough. It could have been a baby cup coral. Was it a barnacle? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll show it to you uh, okay. when I pull it out of my closet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With the bio still attached? Oh, it's hard as whatever cup corals are made of because it is not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Baby anything, given I am not a biologist, I could probably be convinced of. What's <laughs> the white thing in the center left? Uh, center left, that? Yeah. Is it Such a hot as dog? a stalk? <laughs> <laughs> a what? Like a corn dog. <laughs> Could I push that in there, please? <laughs> it's just a it's stalk just with a stalk. thing growing behind yeah. it. It's Weird. definitely not a green thing. No nope. broken. Uh, like a coral base? It's oh, a, it's oh it's looks like a coral base and another coral behind it or something. Yeah, yeah. Herigigordia? Herigigordia. 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 Could be another one of those depth perception issues, potentially. They do look like they're really close to each other. Herigigordia is like gorgeous rainbow, and Herigigordia is like rigid and fat, like gor <laughs> Gorda. <laughs> so. <laughs> One of those is insulting. In the I end. don't hear the difference. You're saying the same thing, right? Eridigorgia and Eridigordia. Sorry. That's how I've been trying to remember it now, because I was like, the original thing doesn't work, so I'll go with it's a rigid, but it's not, because it's like no, the opposite no, of rigid. No, it's a rigid. I gotta see these things written really down. huge. It's cool. Yeah. That's a umbulula? No, it's not. It's a ridiculously yes, it it's is. Ridiculously but from this gorgeous. They're yeah. a ridiculously gorgeous. They're usually a little bit more more spread out. Yeah. What, what would you call, how would there, you please? refer to those spi spirals? The, he the helix? The Ooh, helix. The helix, that's a good. The helix wow, look at is the really tight on this oh, one. Current. Uh, you want to come partial wide there? We'll get it framed. Little mushroom corals. Yep, beautiful. Very cool. There's a Victagorgia in bubble cam. <laughs> oh, good eye. All right, you want to go ahead and come by, please? What's this guy up here? Pretty. Wowie. Yeah, look at that one. Go ahead and push on in here, please. Wow, that's like so many fireworks. Right? I was just thinking the same thing. 
This is the 4th of July down here, people. I love this. All right, full away, please. The polyps are more translucent on that one. Mm. Yeah. We're so lucky. Okay, looking at this, I think the one where it's all pushed to the edge is a Ritagorgia bella. So it's just even more. It's it's a it's a gorgeous rainbow that's beautiful. It's oh. <laughs> a beautiful, gorgeous rainbow. <laughs> has like all the best things going on. Spectacular corals, spectacular pillow lavas, cup corals. Look at this basket star. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. You could say. I don't know how that Christ cord just holds. Do a quick on. zoom there please, right? Okay. Where does the name basket star come from? Someone waved a really bad basket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really missed underwater basket weaving 101. <laughs> oh my gosh, literal underwater basket weaving. Yeah. <laughs> nature imitating art or art imitating nature. Yeah. You, you, you pick. Nice All little right. squat lobster there on the left, too. Yeah, I think oh I've seen yeah. another one above, too. We got the pink ones up here. All right. Look cool. at those. Please. I want to see those ones. Oh, that's spectacular. Uh. Those basket stars get so tangled. It's a ma like a miracle they can function. They're just always kind of a hot mess of huh. a hot mess. Tentacles or <laughs> whatever. Mess. Cold <laughs> mess. It's true. We got for temperature now. Uh, here, Two point five eight Celsius. Oh. It's warmed up a half a degree since we started. <laughs> it should be that guy there. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so the one further in the back right, I think that one's a Magnus Borealis. Oh, this one here? Yeah. It's more spread out. But yeah. this is not. Same step, please. Something yeah, I don't know. Here. Is that more of those... Uh, Barnacles. Barnacles. Or those, uh, <laughs> what were the other ones? They look too those long were arborescent for no, him, but I don't think that that's what that is. What? Uh, that is not oh, barnacles. Whoa, Whoa, please. Oh, cool. Stolen ever. Sorry, you want to come partial wide, please? A bit in a hairy spot. I Corals. did not expect to see them oh, yeah, making look. little necklaces. There's the little purple still still on inference too. Mm -hmm. Back in we got time. a white sea urchin on the far right there. Are those? That's what that is, right? Oh, was that what? It oh no, just see these are more purple. We were seeing those before. Okay. Oh, sorry, I did not get you guys to get shot of that. You want another one or? Oh yeah, it looks like this. I think it's some kind of still different. Yeah. Do we want another? Um, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, I think we can keep moving. Gotcha. Oh, I'm glad you pointed that out. I, I thought it was barnacles. Full light, actually. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect yeah, there. Yeah, full light. Because I was kind of so looking at the... I just got the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at kind of the unusual arrangement there, and then we push in, and we see that they're all, they all seem to be kind of connected. connected. Yeah. It almost spells love. <laughs> Man, yeah. I'm currently pushing down on us oh, now. Yeah. All right. Hey, Kylie, you want to drop a plate? I would love to. Yeah, guys, this is interesting. So the current's now going over the ridge and oh. down. So it's pushing us down okay. onto the, well, just pushing us down. Wild. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, got the power, got the ground fault sense, got the bender, waiting on comms. Roger that. Ooh, fast current, yeah. Yeah, that. Bye. Rock us off the wall here, why don't you? Thank you. <laughs> we understand. All right, I'm full rock back.
pretty sure like everybody okay. else is Got sleeping calls. right now and they don't know what they've been missing. They this no has been idea. so spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Made a mistake, yes. made a mistake. I think that's okay for right now. I'm gonna switch around under Lanta. Just so I can see where we're going. Raj. You wanna stop the ship actually really quickly, Salaman? Thank you. Would you mind stopping the ship please? Sure. Thank you. Bridge, this is nav. Hold position. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Since I can't get any vertical headway right now, I okay. forget to stop. Index. Ooh. Yeah, what is that? In the back. Yeah. Maybe a Calyptrophora. But the lower thing looks interesting. Mm. Might be just a part of the same just colony. Touched. Okay. So we're dropping a ballast plate right now. We've taken on some extra weight with rocks, so to compensate for that. Improving our buoyancy a bit. Good enough. Great. No, that's great. This is a iron plate meant to degrade really over time. Here. So it will not be a persistent uh, impact on I'll the just environment. Just put it down right there. Yeah, looks great. No corals in sight. Oops, sorry. You're good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just one. Yeah, just one. Raj. Thank you very much. No problem. You can go up now? Yeah. Let me just fix my life. Oh. Oh, crapola. It's fine. Raj. Valve off, craft power off. Uh, Fender back on. Going on, going on. I have to do a gauge check. I have slacked accidentally. Uh, before you do that, do you mind if uh, we'll just probably come up a little bit here? Sure. All right, back row. We're just gonna get ourselves situated again. Now that sounds good. We're a lot lighter. Is it okay to turn my heading back? Um, I can keep. I can keep forty. For yeah. What I have. You gonna stand by for a moment on that? Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna use your sonar. Raj. So this is actually technically the heading which just takes us way deeper. Interesting. Hmm. That's funny. My heading has cha ch changed a lot. Like, um, my heading is changing a lot. Oh, no, it's not. I'm lying. Oh, God, the red thing freaks me out. Okay, we can go ahead and come on down a little bit. Raj, Raj. <laughs> All good. I'm gonna increase your scan speed here. Okay. Yeah, just a little one. 
All right, that's looking it's fine. much happier, much more better. Thank Excellent. You. May right, I look at you? Yeah, go okay, ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes. Please let me look at something. <laughs> they think I'm not doing my job if I don't. <laughs> yes, now I can keep moving. Thank you. Approaching this is now. Another move, same step. How much do those ballast plates weigh? 16 pounds. 16. One stone. In <laughs> water. Which stone? Uh, heavy one. <laughs> you know, we have a question about whether we've encountered a sperm whale on any of these dives. What's Not our heading? Like our bearing? Yep. Okay. Roger. We have not seen any whales this season, but in past seasons we have been visited by one. And there's a video, I believe it's on Nautilus Live somewhere. If you search for Look in the whale. gallery section, I think. Yeah, in the gallery. I think it's there. I wonder what these yellow corals are that we've been seeing. We'll take maybe maybe a zoom on one of them in the future. Oh, another sponge. Mm. Coming down. Cool to do a gauge check. Raj. Just need more space. I'm gonna use a bubble. Oh, that's why we're seeing all this rubble up on the saddle point. Seems to be the best place to find a lot of loose rock. Uh, vault planes. I just, absolutely, yeah. I had a question about how active science chat is right now. I don't believe we have any of our onshore scientists uh, tuning in at the moment. They oh, are getting they some well-earned rest right now. Chat's been pretty quiet. So that's been a 24-hour dive, so don't expect them <laughs> to stay up the whole time. Yeah. Nope, we are handling this uh, on our own. No parents. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Even though it, it looks like we're kind of moving along at a nice slow pace, we have covered about four kilometers of we see that sponge in the Transit upper right. So far. Yeah, sure.
I think that's the furthest we've gone of any dive on this cruise. Who are you? That is a There you go. Wow, some long spicules on this bud. Yeah, cool. Get it push out of there, please. Up. Mm. Hi. Cactus. Cactus sponge. Do you have Chris's? Uh, oh, I don't think thanks. we have room, anyways. But maybe I'll look at his wish list. Why? Yeah, thank you. That's you think that's one? I think there was one that Gia did that looked sort of similar, but we collected it already. Um, let's see. It doesn't. It's like the they're not dirty fuzzies, you know. You guys get there? Yeah, thanks. Pull wide, please. Yeah. I'll be curious to hear what that gets ID does. I don't see it anywhere. Not in the wish list. Let's see. If we can find it here, not there, here. Val will probably be reaching that last waypoint in our time. Can you say that again, please? You think we'll probably be reaching our last waypoint with the time we have left? Excellent timing, as usual. Kind of makes up for <laughs> spending an entire shift, two shifts, trying to get to waypoint two. <laughs> it was far. <laughs> it was long. Oh, man. That nodule was field did not. The nodule field ended after shift change. Right of course. At, yeah, like, it always yeah. does. It yeah. always does. <laughs> <laughs> We're team handoff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know after the, today's dive. Or this I know this one's been pretty good. Hey, we got some really cool stuff. On this, we could uh, turn. Call ourselves Team Octa Things because there was a, a, locta, a lot, an octopus and a lot of octa corals. Octa things. Electa things. A lot like of things. <laughs> team Electa monster. And there's monster. not, or we could be like the not a lot, not not octa. Because there wasn't. There's not an eight in our. There's like four to eight, and there's eight to twelve, but there's no eight in our watch. Oh, I mean, for the like, octa. Yeah. There's the nocta. Nocta things. And also, also nocturnal. nocturnal. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, like <laughs> the noct. What's the end of that? The like, nocta. Maybe you just call ourselves nocturnals. Nocturnals. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I like that's that. The nocturnals. Sure, and we know that there's that sub meaning of the, the no eight. Thing. Yes. Another one of these really spread out ones. I like yes, that better. the Magnus Boralis. Oh wow. Gosh, okay, egg? go Ooh. off. That was nice. Wow. Oh. For a while, I was thinking the Night Watch. Good <laughs> idea. Night Watch. <laughs> that goes a little bit uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. I, think. I like the Nocturnals. We also don't like the Night Watch. There's a spot lobster so. in there too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. All right, look down the center of this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> Just sit down, angle up. <laughs> right. Pull wide, please. Can you make her go upside down? You know, oh, that's folder. a cool rock. When we were talking about um, ocean movies before, or water, there's water in the movie, I guess, is the qualification. <laughs> I forgot about oh, one yeah. um, called Pirate Radio. Oh, gosh, that's oh. good. I did like that one. That is good, isn't it? And it's yeah. got a lot of, like, it's got a good soundtrack to it. It does. It does. I haven't thought of that movie in a while. I know. I have it on DVD. I forgot all about it. I haven't seen it in a long time. What is this I think yellow? I, like, stumbled randomly across that's, it on so TV So that's what once. I was asking the first really? time. It was really good. on this yellow? It's so oh, good. Which one? Yeah, what is uh, this both yellow of them. coral? Reg. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised nobody mentioned please. Waterworld. I, I was thinking about that one. I couldn't remember the name. That one's ridiculous. I have never actually seen it. I will okay, have to. This is, I don't know, Plexord, maybe. Okay. And the other one looked more like neon -y. I feel like, feel like that one has the Oh, I please. Oh, 
Got a lot uh, of colors. Would you like the next one, one to be oh, yeah. I love it when the rocks get all dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just for us. Good. The basalt dressed up as corals. Oh, that's also actually just a yellow thing. <laughs> not just a yellow thing, Sorry. but like not cra not not hydrozoans. Thank you. Oh, Raj. Um, in that case, okay. yes. Okay, some kind of plex word. Both of them, I think. Would you like the next move to be north towards web point eight, or we proceed to? Okay, full way, please. Same, like northeast. Uh, Let's uh, let's follow the contour. Okay. Zero four five. Zero four five, Reg. Bridge, this is nav. That that Another chrysogorgia in the bottom please. left. Can we look at that real so quick? So keep the same. Sorry. Yeah. Can we look at the chrysogorgia in the bottom left, or are we on a move? I would. Yeah. I can hold the ship if you want. Um, no, I it's okay. I'll just take a quick look. Where is it at? Uh, it just went out of frame. Bottom left. It's like like one uh, a little more further. That, that one. That one. That has like crazy all the directions. Oh, yeah, good spot. That's got some serious fireworks going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't, I had. Okay, I haven't seen that one. All right, go ahead and do a quick zoom there. Is that all one? Uh, I think it's all one, yeah. Wow. Which is pretty wild. Like, is it branching? It looks like a branching Chrysogorgia of some kind. Huh. I didn't know they did right. that. Pull away, please. Yeah, I'm going to dig in, but I don't think I've seen pictures of any that do that. Okay. Noted. I'd, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the science chat has to say about that. Yeah. Good spot. All right, I'm coming up a little. It's Roger. like those uh, firework shells that uh, do the, uh, you know, they have all the stars and then yeah. some of the stars oh they like, like blow up more I know exactly their own what you're stars. talking about that is exactly that like that one mm -hmm. yep yeah. oh Ooh. yeah I think there's another one uh, just in the corner there too oh, look at those broken rocks at the bottom oh yeah oh yeah kind of a little bread crusty Val were you distracted by biology whoa <laughs> I get distracted by all sorts of things <laughs> I love this we're broadening all our horizons <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, sometimes ADHD is a gift. <laughs> other times, <laughs> it's other a double-edged sword, really, isn't it? Yeah, other times it's just hopeless. <laughs> and we're somewhere between the two states right now because uh, it is the middle of the night, and I've been up since, I don't know when, a little after 9, 9 a.m. Ooh, rocks on all day. Uh, well, after watch, after dinner... Ooh, a tuna kiss. Was there dinner? I don't remember dinner. Yeah, it was after dinner. Where? Wait, what? Is, is that a tuna kiss? Is that a sponge? Where? Uh, center Oh, in the center? Right Might. I don't know. Let's zoom. All right, right. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Wow. Sorry. That looks, looks look, tuna kitty huh. more. Yeah. It does not look spongy. No. Sorry, I'll Good spot. I yeah. didn't see that at all. Pretty iridescent. I haven't seen one of these east dives yet. Okay, pull away, please. So we had a, a question about uh, if we had a radio station on the ship, what water themed songs would we play? <laughs> if we did water themed songs, they have to be. That's an umbalula, isn't it? Where? Or is that just a crinoid? It's just a crinoid it's pretending. A oh, that's <laughs> yeah. garden. By the way, I think I figured out what that multi branching, I think that's Rudanaridogorgia. So it is a known thing, but still very cool. Still very cool. That's that beautiful thing over there. Not just a mushroom coral, but like a whole freaking giant toadstool. <laughs> <laughs> it belongs in Mario. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, Christopher, maybe it's uh It's very large. Wow. Okay, uh, I, just I just looked up. The Royal Tenenbaums All right, soundtrack. go ahead and push on in there. <laughs> Royal Tenenbaums, what about it? 
the soundtrack. It, I, it doesn't have really anything to do with water. It just makes me think of... You want laser track? I dressed up as Margot sure. Tenenbaum for Halloween once. It was fun. I just looked depressed all night. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hard because I like smiling. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what is this one? This is also a mushroom coral. It's a very full mushroom It coral. is huge. Well, one of its polyps are closed. Yeah. It's not a polyp, is it? Yeah. No. Is that, yeah. a, that the right yeah. word? Oh, it's yeah. a polyp. It's really big polyps. All right. Pull away, please. And get going. Yeah, still that amazing botryoidal uh, texture on those manganese crusts. It'll be interesting to see how thick those uh, crusts are at the seamount because uh, Solidae, they were surprisingly thin. Really? Yeah. That should be a bouquet coral, the earlier one, the, red, the orange. Is there light, the lasers back on there, Kylie? Raj, Raj. Thank you. You oh got God. it. Wow, I, am I seeing a really huge crinoid or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those glyptometra, I think. The yellow one? Yeah. Yes. And cup corals and a sea star. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these boulders are just packed. Yeah, yeah. this is a yeah, good spot. spot. Yeah. I didn't think it would be. Like, we're kind of near the saddle by waypoint eight, and it's just pretty. Blame it on the current, I guess. We've had some of these flat spots on oh, some other dives many. where there was just a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. What is this sea star here with a whole bunch of arms? Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, oh whoa. Yeah. Wow. Look at that chunk. Huge. Reminds me of the, was it Rathbunaster over in yeah. California? Yeah. I think it's oh a solasterid. I was going to say sunstar. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. it's like 30 centimeters across That's from huge. one arm to another. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's I could giant. see that. Big boy. I think Rathbunaster is maybe one of the only things that compares to Coryphenoides in Can how fun it is to there, say. <laughs> Why is that sea star slightly unsettling? Yeah. They all are to me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Three, six, ten. Ten. Ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> how many toes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'd have to flip it over. No, I'm kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting you can actually see the segments. Yeah. yeah. All, like you could almost just <laughs> take them apart like a pie. <laughs> what flavor? <laughs> hey, I don't want to know. Custard. Oh, yeah. 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 Custard for sure. I think there's a little black or uh, purple crinoid uh, on the co coral right below it too. I like how you're on the crinoid watch there. See, Justin? I just love <laughs> the, the color. It's so cool. I know. They're <laughs> super cool. You're it's kind of so in theory, and I've, I think I've identified the two things that you really enjoy. <laughs> Justin, I think yeah. you'd like the umbalula because the purple crinoids, like every time I see them on a stalk, I think it's the umbalula. Which is a, it looks like a, like a feather duster. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'd like to see that. I haven't seen that. Only in pictures. I'm a bit behind now. Yeah. Might lateral a bit quickly here, guys. Yeah. I had a question about what the stars look like out here on the ship. Honestly, they have 10 arms. <laughs> 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 the night sky. Very good. <laughs> it's been sky. not that clear at night. Like the last cruise, I was looking at a lot of stars, but this cruise it hasn't been that clear yeah it's been a little but hazy. the moon the moon has also been it was a full moon two days ago tonight before watch i went out and looked and the full moon on the water was glorious but yeah that Sorry? was dark hazing. yeah Raj. should ask uh malanai when, when she's on right watch yeah i'm gonna catch up a little bit once i get here then you okay i'll wait it. thank you she's got a little more navigational training that way too there was a um, malanai was showing us earlier on in the cruise, a time when like you could see, if there hadn't been clouds right there, you would have been able to see the Southern Cross, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, something you don't really get to see in the mainland US, too far north. Yeah.
Yeah, actually a really cool organization to check out in addition to nautiluslive.org is the uh, Polynesian Voyaging Society. Uh, you can visit their page at hokulea.com, which is H-O-K-U-L-E-A. Um, they also are doing really incredible work taking a strong Hawaiian worldview and, and expanding it out globally. Yep, they travel all over the world. All right, Silva, I'm ready for you. OK. Yeah. Look at all those anemones kind of clustered together in that little space. There's, Praise, my, this is there's my holothurium. Oh, man, maybe not. Is that? Another no, move zero four five fifty meters. Yeah, and any time the uh, Hukulea came home to Oahu, it was always like when I was there, it was always such uh, an event. Like you know, uh, you get you get huge crowds that uh, turn out for uh, its its return to to, uh, to port. Yeah, it's a big deal. It is. As well as the uh, other voyaging canoes from the different islands, like the Makali'i and yeah. That's actually another uh, special thing about Papahana Mokuakea Marine National Monument is that uh, the islands, remaining basalt islands that are um, still there, closest to the main Hawaiian Islands, are Nihoa and Mokumanamana, and those are used as uh, navigational training for the the new uh, navig navigators that are being trained up mm -hmm. using the traditional wayfinding. Power hour plus two minutes. <laughs> yep. So we're almost to our last waypoint. Oh, yeah, we're close. What's the plan going to be after we get there? We have waypoint nine. Oh, is there one more? Yeah, we got nine waypoints on this oh, one. Oh, sorry. So, uh, Was that waypoint eight there? I Let's thought we were see. at yeah. our last one. Uh, oh. we're, we're not too far from waypoint nine either. Uh, it's a little bit further up slope. So, uh, yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, so that's kind of local uh, summit at waypoint nine. So, yeah, a little bit of a king of the mountain situation there. Um, yeah, we. We could probably uh, extend. Yeah, that's that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, can we uh, zoom out high pack a little bit, please? Zoom out, right? You said. Yeah, uh, we're we're gonna get an idea of what's north of waypoint nine. So this is waypoint. So nine. just a reminder to our viewers: if you see those green laser dots, they're ten centimeters apart helps us with scale somewhat. It's about... Uh, I think Val wanted to zoom out and see what's north of waypoint nine, like if yeah. we have to go further. That's how it looks like. Mm. It looks yeah. like it just I've ever been on a dive that had just bit. so much ar aridogorgia. No, it's been it a lot. Pretty. You could probably just like keep looking over here. Pretty steady. I agree. It's moving downhill, so we'll have to figure out how to manage that. But uh, maybe we hit waypoint nine and then we drop down along the edge of the ridge again. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. So, like going north from here towards straight to waypoint nine. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, see what's at the top, and uh, then we can, uh, yeah, drop back down uh, on the side of the ridge a little bit. Sounds good. Yeah. The next question is, 
uh, east side or west side? All the sides. Once we completed this move, we'll go to zero zero five. Reg, thank you. So is this seamount considered a geo? Can't tell how flat it really is on top. Um, I do not think it's super flat. Looks more like a ridge. Uh, yeah, we're we're on one of the ridges. Um, overall, the morphology is pretty consistent with a geo. Quite large one. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah. you can barely even tell that we're on that big of a gear. Huh. Yeah, that's a big old volcanic pile. We're just looking at a tiny piece of it. That's always the part that throws me off is it feels like on these dives that we cover a lot of ground. I know, but, but it's really just like the tiny flank. Yeah, tiny little bit. Yeah. What's going on in the center there where that little depression is? That's like a caldera or if that's yeah, I don't know. What was that this longer uh Eridogorgia called? Magnus spiralis. Magnus spiralis. Big spiral. After this cruise, we have the OECI technology integration cruise. There's a question about whether they'll be doing live interactions during that one as well. Anybody have any insight on that? <laughs> I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. If they have a full complement of science communication fellows, then I would expect yes. Yeah. I'm not sure who's on that cruise expedition. You guys have pets? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Do you? Yeah. What's your pet? Got a dog. Aww. What's your dog? She's awesome. What's her name? <laughs> Penny. Penny the awesome I dog. I had a dog named Penny. She's but good. Cool was she here. good? I bet she was good. Actually, she wasn't. Oh. <laughs> she, she got old and mean. Oh, oh. but did you she, love her? She was good when she was little. Oh. My dog is 12. Oh. oh. I love her and I miss her. Oh. And my dad won't send me a picture of her. Oh, no. <laughs> why not? I don't know because he just thinks it. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. It's not like he said no. He's just ignoring me. Kylie's <laughs> dad, if you're listening right now, he's send a not. picture of Penny. <laughs> My sister's harassing him for a picture for me. He's like, oh, yeah, Raj, I'm getting milk at the store. And then she's wait, wait, like, wait. does your dad say Raj? My dad gives a thumbs up, which is the same okay. vibe. Uh, here's another one that was, uh, yeah, sure Christ, the Gorgia that you saw. Mm -hmm. The Rodana Ritagorgia. Dana Regigorgia. I have two cats and they're with my mom right now. Oh. Do you know yeah. Did you get them names? at the same time? Nope. Um, the uh, the older of the two cats is a uh, tabby, about 11 years old and very opinionated. Oh. And uh, he was a. Uh, uh, we'll start with 005 was, and then proceed to north again. So 005, almost north. 005, Raj. Bridge, this is Nav. Next move on bearing zero, zero, 005, 50 meters. Yeah, well, he, he is a large uh, desert tabby, and some of my friends, uh, when I was living in El Paso, uh, spotted him one day, and uh, he was 
clearly kind of looking for a place to call home. And uh, he was about six months old at that point. Uh, they rescued him, and uh, they're uh, the cat. One of the cats that they had uh, wasn't going to play nice with him. So they're like, "Yeah, we have this. We have this cat. We're looking for somebody to take him in." And uh, yeah, I I was in the right kind of life situation to uh, adopt a cat. It's my first ever cat. Oh. And then. Uh, yeah, I ended up moving to uh, Hawaii to finish my PhD, and it was going to be a huge, expensive hassle that I couldn't entirely afford to uh, uh, bring him to uh, mm -hmm. Honolulu. So he, he went to uh, live with my mom for a while, who was very happy to take him in. And uh, we got him up there, and he was, he was kind of stressed because of the move, understandably. Yeah. And... Uh, we had a couple of couple of older dogs at the time, and he wasn't entirely sure about the dogs. So she, uh, one of her coworkers, if I remember correctly, uh, one of her coworkers uh, rescues cats, and I think she got a kitten through him. I'm trying to remember where the second cat came from, and uh, yeah, so he ended up getting a little uh, tortoiseshell buddy, and they they uh, bonded, and oh. then she ended up getting some more cats <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, when I moved back to the mainland to Maryland uh, I you know it was like priority number one was like get the cat back because <laughs> ha having a pet has been pretty good for my mental health you know just having yeah. a companion around yeah. uh, totally same yeah and she was like okay but if you're taking the tabby back uh Take he's, his brother. He's, he's bonded. He's bonded to the, to the, the tortoise. Yeah, we had, <laughs> so I ended up with two cats. Oh, and, uh, yeah. What they, are their names? Uh, the tabby is named Tuck, Tuck the, because tabby. he likes to tuck under things. Oh, oh that's cute. Uh, and then uh, the uh, the tortoise is named Pekona, which is Hawaiian for bacon. <laughs> Love <laughs> that. Because she has uh, she has this uh, brown this kind of brownish stripe down her nose mm. that looks is kind like of, bacon. yeah, it looks a little oh. bit like bacon. Like table bacon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. And it's kind of <laughs> cute when they cuddle, but sometimes Ooh. cuddling turns into them grooming each other, which turns into them eventually swatting at each other. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, it's like a typical sort of like sibling thing. Totally. Y'all, yeah. look Could at the sponge in there, the back in Atlanta. Oh, oh Raj, is that yeah. an analapse? Oh, wow, analapsemia. Is that a is that a small squat lobster just going off screen, or is that like a crab? Oh yeah, on the little spine next to the wait, big wait, wait. squat lobster. Wait, where? Let me see. Oh yeah, I there's just a big went squat lobster. That guy. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh my dude. God! Wait, 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 wait! Above that one, little brittle star. Oh, yeah, you're right. You sound so disappointed. <laughs> I thought for a second it was the spiky chirostyloid squat lobster <laughs> that I love, but it's not. That is not a very happy looking sponge. All right, pull away, please. Somebody on a previous shift had pointed out uh, in the chat that um, they always would see white squat lobsters on white sponges and reddish ones on reddish things, but that yeah did not match that pattern. So I uh, oh yeah, that is a ooh, big sponge. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was wow. what I was seeing. Yeah. Beautiful. Wait, hold on, there's one that's sort of like this on Chris's list. Do we want to hold for a second? Um, I, uh, I'll find it quick. Okay. For collection or for just imagery? Uh, for imagery. collection, but it's not the one. Okay. We're good. But it is a really cool sponge. It's Do got it something no, on the other side. They don't want this sponge. Okay. Big ferrayed. Can you turn the iris down on Atalanta? Sure. Oh, look, and just it has come a, a little bit wide, wider for me. What is that in there? Crying oh my lead. gosh. Oh, wow. That's good. Wow. That's going to be pretty. Wow. And a little bit. Oh, it's right in the middle. <laughs> does it have two? It makes it look like that. a flower. Yeah. It does look like a flower. I have the iris is not responding. Oh, oh Raj, I get beautiful. stuck sometimes. Oh, wow. It might that's go black any minute now because so it's nice. all the way down. Can you just push in for me? Immaculate. Sure. It does. This is the word for a zoom pearlescent soon. comes to mind. Let me You're just right. put the iris back on auto so it doesn't yeah, do something weird fine. for you. Did you say pearlescent? Right. Whoa, Go ahead no. and okay. do a oh. partial Well, now it's all the way down, isn't it? Yeah. Is that okay. a word? That's how I that works. Sorry, Wait, could you repeat that? 
partial zoom on her, please. Okay. Just framing it up there. Nice. You definitely need a glam shot of this. Yeah. I'll frame it up here a bit. I'm going to turn off oh, that light. There's more of those, like, stringy things. Oh, yeah, the stillinifrance. Yep. Yeah. The stringy things. Green <laughs> things. Kylie, I figured things. out my problem if you want right, me to adjust things. it now. That's awesome. What's up? I can I can adjust the iris on uh, Atalanta now. I figured out what was up. Can you push in past the vignette, please? Yes. Thank you. That looks like a cool. duck face or a penguin face. Huh. Where are you looking? On the floor. <laughs> oh, it's a penguin. I think I think Somebody's I think it's almost bedtime. I, mean, I want to believe uh -huh. you, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't see that? She said she saw penguins. Clear as penguins. <laughs> <laughs> 1,400 meters under the water. Well, Atalanta. I mean, yes, Atalanta view is very cool of her right now. Thanks. Yeah. The lights are just so epic looking. You know. Make it a highlight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the O2 concentration dropped way off again. Oh, my gosh. 22? Do you want to do a partial zoom I feel here like we pulled the trigger direction. early on that. Well, we were just, you know, being cautious. Yeah, because you don't know what you won't find. Is that a bubblegum corp? It looks like it to it me. It does look sort of bubblegummy. It's got a little bit Christ bigger nodule A little look. chunkier. Yeah. All right, full wide, please. I like that shot on Atalanta. We saw so many pair of gorgeous shots. What's the star? Sea star. Oh, yeah, yeah, another one of those. Another one big, big guy. Where's the octopus? What is that? <laughs> on our first cruise, I feel like there were so many pair of gorgia, and we've seen so few this time. Yeah. What is that hanging out off the uh, rock yeah. there? Yeah, it looks like crinoid. the bottom of a crinoid. Probably, or a yeah. crinoid. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Seuss land right oh, now. Oh man, when you don't work to not spin, you just spin all around and around. Hey, Chris. Yeah. I'm um I'm snooping on the chat. Do you mind if I answer a question? Yeah. Go for it. Um, I didn't. I told you guys earlier that I didn't know that. Um, like. Go ahead and push on in there, please. This was a field to go into, um, until I was 25. And um, I had just started college at that point at my community college. Um, and I have my associate's degree, but I still don't have my bachelor's and I'm 30 oh, now please. and it's something I'm working towards. So all of that is just to say that um, it's never too late to start doing this um, if it's something that you're passionate about. Definitely. I feel like there's some great community colleges and junior colleges out there. It's a great Reg, way to... There really are with so many cool programs. Bridge, this is now. North, 50 meters, please. Wow, look at the uh, Areta Gorge up ahead. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was giant. And my little Holothurian buddies. Oh, ah, yeah, sure enough. Right in the center Where? there. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of sediment. Well, no, I guess there is actually between the rocks. A little bit. I'm surprised we're seeing this much with uh, how low the O2's gotten here. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I have a dog. Tell oh. us about the dog. Our dog is a rescue black lab. Her name is Desmarestia, which is a genus of seaweed. Oh, cool. Sorry. I no, also, also it is cool. Really cool. <laughs> I also named my child after a genus of seaweed. Oh, that's my, awesome. My wow. daughter's name is Alaria. Alaria. And, and my other that's daughter really is pretty. Alicia, which is a genus of nudibranch. Oh, my gosh. Right. Interesting. I that love awesome. that. That's amazing. What inspired those? The, I mean, I, obviously, I know what they're named after now, but what? why, why seaweed? Why? Because uh, I'm a break. nerd, and my wife was permissive, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we couldn't agree on children's names until uh, not too long before the baby was due, so we uh, came up with our lists, and neither one of them matched, and I said, hey, how about this one? And she was like, okay. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told her it meant wing and song, because Allah means wing and aria means song. Uh, Allah also means armpit in Latin, but I, <laughs> oh, no. I did not tell her that at the time. It also comes before vodka uh, in a really good pasta dish. <laughs> <laughs> Are they twins? Uh, they're not. They're, oh, they're not. a couple years apart. What are they? So it's Ala... Alaria. Alaria. I really like that. That's Alicia. good. Thank Alaria. I've never heard that before. And you're, any more about your your dog? Oh, uh, yeah. That's our dog. She's, she's really sweet. She's afraid of men. She barks at everything that walks by the house. Uh, and she likes to roll in poop if she gets out. So oh, no. We got to keep her on a leash. That's such a feature, isn't it? The dogs. <laughs> Wait, um, how old is your dog? She's about five or six now. Oh, that's a good age. What, what breed is it? She's a black lab. Oh, mostly. that's right. She's, oh, I that's she's perfect. A, I think she's a part. mix, but like she looks mostly black lab, if anything. She might have a little hound in her or something. Yeah. That's fun. That age, they're like... It's not puppy. They're starting to chill out a little bit, like a tiny bit, and they just they they know things. They know what wor your words mean when you're like no, yeah. <laughs> and to go over there. <laughs> they know how to do that. I love dogs. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That's My sweet hard. puppy is just about two years old. Australian Shepherd named Samwise Gamgee. Oh. <laughs> Because when he was a puppy, he had Australian that, Shepherd, yeah. two <laughs> years old. Dog. <laughs> he had this very earnest Sean Astin look when he was oh. a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name for a dog. Yeah, but uh, he's he's really smart and really stubborn. There's a there's a whole uh, Facebook Australian Shepherd group oh, really? that my wife follows. And Everyone being they, like, I'm tired. They have so much energy. <laughs> there's a lot of memes about them being there. super Please. cute for their first six weeks or months, oh, and no. then like. Three years. <laughs> In between that, it's a little bit of a <laughs> awkwardness. I think, I think they call it the Velociraptor stage. <laughs> oh. oh, this is a cool sea star. Got any more zoom there? What do you think? We will find it. Cool. Ooh, has some weird pockets oh, on wow. it. Wow. Those yeah. are weird little like polypy <laughs> looking Super things on those. Strange. It's got like yeah, wow. there's like spicules. I've like seen I've seen this one in the guide. We will Scalera find it. or whatever it's called. It's got like little tufts on the end of its legs. Yeah, it's called flare. Those are flare. <laughs> there we go. Those are tube feet, but the, um, it looks like the the bulbs that control the tube feet are outside the body, almost. It's, <laughs> Oh, Cause I each, see what each you're saying. Because each tube foot is attached to like a, a bulb, kind of like a turkey baster. Mm. And usually they're inside, and that's what they look like. <laughs> huh. The ampullae. Give me the yes. heebie-jeebies. <laughs> yeah. I liked a it bit. a lot, and then I saw more about how I visualized it, how you're saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I liked it less. <laughs> Freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> All right. Pull away, please. I know I've seen this one somewhere. Come up. Coming up, coming up with you. Dredge, dredge. So we had a together. question about sponges. Um, is the sponge's shape determined by DNA or as a response to environmental factors such as current or food? Probably a bit of both. Yeah, definitely yeah. a combo. Whoa. Are those sponges? Speaking there? of sponges, yeah. we have. Sponge wow. density increases slightly. Right, right in there. After a lot of, not a lot of sponges, suddenly we have a little bit of more sponges. Did you guys see that thing that fluttered by really quick? I huh? missed it. No. I, it, it, yeah. Anyways, I, it was too fast to get uh, us. Don't mind me. I'm starting to space out a little <laughs> bit. We're hitting that, at that, that time of night where I'm just like, yeah, Ben uh, is finally yes, starting to quite. sound like a good idea. Also feeling that swell a little bit, but I know I'm, I'm we're good. really rocking. Yeah, and definitely be putting on another patch before going to bed, though. So I'll catch it, catch it early. Yep. 
I have made that mistake before, and that was not fun. Yeah. I'm sad. I do have to I say there's a certain purposes. joy in that moment when all the engines turn off. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I can imagine, yeah. Was that Bath of Pathies? Did I? Oh, I missed it. I wasn't looking. I, I, I haven't. We haven't seen any it. black coral really yeah. at all. I oh I yeah. A, I thought I saw a small one, but I didn't get a great look. It's right on the edge of the screen. Oh, morning, Chris. We got Chris Kelly on. Chris. Hello, Chris Ooh. Kelly. Chris. It is so cool. There's so many chrysogorgids of all kinds. Okay, this is what I think that we've seen. Chris, we Cry saw an octopus. Oh, yeah, yeah we did see <laughs> an octopus, too. 12 <laughs> 4 has had an amazing an overnight shift. Okay, we've seen Rodana Ritogorgia, Chrysogorgia geniculata. Um, I didn't see any gelato. <laughs> <laughs> we have gelato? Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. We've seen a Ritogorgia magnus brawlis and Bella. And... What about that sponge that was on the ground, that sort of, the one that we were just looking at a little mm. while ago with all the sort of long spiky spiky like, yeah sponge. some weird rosellid maybe that we didn't know it was really ooh. It was, ooh this is a cool feature we got a little bit of pahoy hoy going on there pahoy hoy <laughs> oh there is isn't that a black coral there to the left yeah, yeah. good eye yeah, yeah so you zoom on it? apparently we just say it and it manifests <laughs> <laughs> wow whale I've got a lot of tells <laughs> 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 All right, Chris is already helping us out. He's saying yeah. the other like sponge we saw was a rose. How do you spell that? All right, go ahead and push uh, it in there, please. Uh, replace the Ys with Es, and then you're good. Oh, I actually have seen this word before. And that looks not black coral-y, but uh, is it just the tissue covering everything? Uh, the spiky sponge was yeah, a rosalid. Yeah, black coral. Pahoy. That one that we were looking at earlier. We saw some metallogorgia too. Oh, metallogorgia, that's when we oh saw yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Gosh, it's hard to even remember. There's some in the background there, too. Metallogorgia, right? Um, I don't know. Uh, in the background here, I don't I think, think that's so. something a little different. I think that's Chrysogorgia. Yeah, because the metallogorgia has that like really there. planar. Yeah, and they've got the really long stalk before you start seeing the polyps. All right, full wide, please. Look at this, this rocky feature is cool, too. Yeah. It's like very yeah it has a lot of flow pattern to it yeah yeah that's that's kind of what i'm thinking um so yeah that's what the uh pahoy hoy mean uh, uh texture is is that uh kind of ropey ripply looking uh, uh surface so yeah. cool yeah if so anybody, many cup curls on this if anybody ever invites you to go on a hike and they say it's pahoy hoy, you're in good shape if it's uh, uh bring really thick shoes yeah, all of a sudden, just a ton of cup corals again. Wow. Yeah, they really glow. We in saw this so light. many of those uh, on the last dive, and not until oh. later portions of this dive Sorry. did we start seeing more of them. Chris, Chris. Okay, that was a collectible. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, we'll keep an eye out for more of those. For more of which? Uh, the spiky sponge. Oh, Raj. That one we spent a little time looking at. We got some good camera capture, at least. Is that another purple? Uh, Looks like it. Right there, stocked. Crying. That's a weird aridogorgia with like just like one little swoop. Huh. Uh, I think maybe something was munching on it. Right. I don't know. Do you guys mind if I continue? I'm uh, Go uh, ahead. the best oh, cool. spot. Anemone, Venus flytrap on the right. This is a cool section here. It really it is. is. Just in time to hand it off to the next one. <laughs> Do we got 30 minutes. On this, uh, yeah, we got DVL time. We got time. Please. A lot can change. At the right time. Time. Just in time to oh, power yeah. us through oh, the last perfect. half hour. Thank you. Right. I have an interaction to go to, so I'm going to dip out and let okay, just yeah. take yeah. over. Sure. Go for it. Yeah. Bruce, this is now. I'm glad you remembered. Another move to north. 50 meters. What is uh, geologically happening right here? Uh, I don't know. Good it's on question. Auto. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> we can put it. We can put it in manual if you want. Yeah. Can we zoom on that, please? Yeah. Sure. Can. Oh, I turned off some of my lights. That's that's the other other manual. Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to zoom? Uh. Yep. Cool. What do you guys think that is? Uh. Looks like a. Flaking. I don't know. 
I'm not ruling out coral. <laughs> um, maybe it's sorry now that I'm settled. I'm gonna do one bump down. Or hyaloclastite. I I can't really tell. Um, Mr. You got any more zoom there? Uh, <laughs> our our science chat is also going. Uh, um, it looks like it has basalt clasts in it. It's hard to tell if that's on top of or a part of the rock. It looks exactly. almost on top of. Yeah. It looks on top of. Yeah, it looks yeah, like okay. something almost enfolded it and it's kind of flaking off now. Yeah. yeah. That. Right, like the thing was brown and then it's flaking off and leaving white bits. Okay, so we have a tan thing now right, to go cool, with the I grease think. thing. Chris doesn't think it's biological. Okay, yeah, probably not. It's, uh, what is that? There's more of it back here. Weird. Yeah, I think we're still firmly in basalt territory, so I don't know what that is. You want to take a look at that other boulder that's covered with it? Maybe we'll get a uh, different clue, or maybe. I don't have uh, I don't terribly I'm much time, oh, guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah, never mind. yeah, let's keep let's keep going then. Uh, yeah, I I don't have a good answer for that. Oh, Face that paint on the left. Is that like that? Doesn't look like a basket, is it? Oh, oh gosh, right that here? Is a giant. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, I think, isn't that a basket star? I, oh, yeah, it is. I couldn't see the disc. And it's really protruding. Still on Ifra there next to it. Yeah. Cool. Go ahead and do a quick zoom in there, please. That's great. That thing is wild. That is. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of that movie Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I know why. A couple of wide there, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, go ahead and push on in again. And I'm going to pop up and take off. Zoanthids above, stolen's below. Oh, those cool are zoanthids. Thank you. Zoanthids? Yeah, so Chris said. Oh, is saying. that what Chris said? Yeah. And then the lower, kind of yellowish ones are the stones. I'm still Thanks blown away that we're seeing all of this with uh, at really low oxygen. We're at uh, a little over 21 uh, micromole per liter. Raj. I was trying to read it. Looks like we got another one of those really big crinoids. Couple oh, a couple them, yeah. of them. Reach into the sky. They get any bigger, and they just might. I still want to say that was a stolen different. Throw the picture in the chat. Da, 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 da. I gotta figure out. Yeah, we've been seeing the uh, stellar difference for I think this a little one, while that now, that Chris. Really, hold on. I'll find it. It's this picture. Let's see if I can drag that in. Sent. Maybe that'll work. Uh, what do we got going? the back there. Let's see if I have enough leash. Uh, I think it's another one of those crinoids. They're so big around here. And then you got something behind it. Bamboo? I don't know. You go ahead and push on in on this guy, and then we'll go look at the guy behind it. Oh, Sorry. why am I logged in as you? Okay, then we'll look at the I, guy behind it. It looks like, like I'm like logged in as Justin on this. Oh, chat because we somehow. had the our screens were oh. shared. 
okay. Didn't even think about that. I gotta get out of here. Partial wide, out. please. Uh, I'm gonna look really smart. That's great. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that whole weird. <laughs> yeah, that was oh, interesting please. start to shift. We were like sharing a computer, and this weird quad thing was making it super glitchy. <laughs> this weird. I think it was taxing the CPU or something. What had they done? Yeah. <laughs> What's that red? No more, no more quad on red the monitor. Red business. Well, there's two of them. The bottom. I guess the other is the same thing. Do you want to see the bottom? Lot. Actually, the maybe the top one's easiest to image. Yeah, here. whatever. Where are we at here? We're not that far from waypoint nine. Yeah, we're coming I up on the. I think the thing uh, on the right is swifty, but the left looks interesting. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please. Interesting Thank rock you. feature Ooh, too. Is that? Star pathies. It's really clumpy. Oh, now chat just doesn't want to work at all. What are you calling it? Maybe star pathies, but I am not confident in that at all. But this is the stolen efferent thing, Chris. If you're looking to the left, or what we we've been calling stolen efferent. You want to come partial wide, please? Thank you. You guys want a better zoom on that? Um, I think that's all right. Okay. I was just trying to do Reg. the science communication fellow Full wide, please. video capture real quick. What is the rock doing here? So somebody was asking about when this dive ends, and we were scheduled to be up on deck by 8 a.m. Hawaii time. So huh. We're getting pretty close to our last waypoint, but uh, we'll see what happens when the next watch gets here in about that 27 one. minutes. Whoa, big sponge oh, yeah. in the back oh. there. I said it off SPL, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> This little micro ridge here is uh, quite quite the host. I can't wait to go to bed. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really enjoying this, but I'm also so excited to go to sleep. Yep, <laughs> me too. <laughs> but this was an Weird. epic, uh, epic watch. I'm gonna have to winch myself out of bed for uh, <laughs> sample collection, and winch? then it's gonna be yeah. Gotta winch bed. myself out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's been uh, that's actually that's actually a phrase that I kind of grew up with. So it's really? just like permanently a part of my vocabulary. I yeah. love like it. that. It's now you permanently were made part for of my vocabulary as well. Like me up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I, I'm more of a night owl, so I am not always, like, super thrilled to get up in the morning. I feel you. Same. I'm the um, opposite. Oh. I stay up late, but I don't think that I would consider myself a 4 a.m. night owl. Can you have a move there, please? Same. Yeah, I, I max out around 1, 2 a.m. Yeah. And 2 a.m. is pushing it. This is Pretty wow, awesome. such big. Features. Another move to north, please. What would you call these geologically that we're on uh, right now? Uh, back with us again, too. I right. do not know what to call this kind of feature. And that's really, yeah, random. Not It's not pillow, right? Because it's like larger than that. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, oh, kind that's of a weird a little. That's a different type of fish. Yeah. Oh, I wonder, I think I have this in the guide. Mm. That one has the caudal fin is. Go ahead and start pushing on in there, please. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. what a weird Whoa, shape. So well, yeah. Interesting wow, color, too. I don't just really incredible. see too many red colors. The only one that has 
caudal fin like that is a Moridae antimora. Yeah, Moridae sacco. Micro lips. lips. But it didn't really, I don't know if it really looked like that. On our common guide. That's a big dead thing. <laughs> sure is. Uh, yeah, technical term for this should just be lava thing. It's a little confusing. Take a picture now, still can't, please. Like, I'd, I'd have to walk around this a few times and get a bigger view to really kind of figure out what happened here. Chris is asking. We don't quite have the time for that. <laughs> if we can zoom on the reddish yellow wispy colonies. Reddish yellow wispy, sorry? Colonies. colonies that were... He saw some back when we saw that fish. So we'll try to interpret that if we see it again. I think we've been seeing Swiftia, yeah. I think that's maybe what you were seeing. Do you guys want me to go back for it? Or would you rather we just continue on? Um, if it's Swiftia, we're going to see more. Roger. So we don't need to go back. Roger that. So many cup corals, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like where they've been all dive. Apparently the answer is up here. Oh, it's barf cam. <laughs> 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 I feel you on that one. Oh yeah, zero to barf. That was our other one. <laughs> that was the other <laughs> one. <laughs> zero to barf. The nocturnal barfers. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> so is that our name then, the Nocturnals? Are we going to stick with that one? I like that I think one. that's pretty good. That's a cool one, yeah. The Noctos. How about that? No? No. Uh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have like the uh, as ascend Ascenders and we have Nocturnals. Kind of like the Eternals. The Nocturnals sounds like it would be like a band name, which I kind of like. Yeah, and then I don't know what the other watch okay. is. Okay, this George right here in the, in the oh, that's right, center yeah. left <laughs> I forgot might about be that. what they were looking at. Center left? Sorry? Center now. Do you mean this right here? Uh, yes. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, Raj. Uh, what yeah. The other shift is the hard no, the hard nose. The hard nose. <laughs> is, that, yeah. is that their name? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. You have is that... About the the um, four to eight. Yes. Go ahead yeah. and push on in there. Yeah, might need to get a different angle. Chris was yeah, I'm too. pretty sure it's Swiftia. Fan I Swiftia. can go further. Uh, no, stand by. I'm gonna we'll get a different angle for us. A second to see. And if it's not, then I've been IDing it wrong the entire dive. You've been loyal to your mistakes. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes, Swiftia. Yeah. Good We're job. Good. Cool. Yay! I'll go to the zoom then. Yep. Pull away, please. Uh, I didn't quite catch it, but that pink one looked a little more chunky too, like Paragorgia. Oh, I just looked away. I'm trying to keep a half eye on Christopher's monitor. Mm. This is a huge feature. It's so it big. Is. Yeah. We Kay. zoom on the white colony. Sure. Sure thing. Excellent, thanks. Yeah, are these Enolapsamia, or is it the one that's named after Chris? <laughs> All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. Sorry, guys. It's okay. This is the 
Sako says octocoral. Okay. Chris says. Oh, yeah. And ellipsinia. They're like transparent almost, Is it? or okay. very pale colored yeah. polyps. All right, full light, please. Another one of our big basket stars. Love those guys. And your giant crinoids coming up too. Yeah. Over on the left out of, out of screen right now. And Asako, we did see some hemichorallium with zoanthid, yellow zoanthids earlier. And we were walking through this exercise together. And uh, and Kylie was getting good at telling the difference. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> way better. Hey, Rhett, are you full? Whoa. Can you come full light on her? Whoa, for a stole the yeah. Nipperin City. Okay. This is yeah. more of what we were seeing. Uh, wow. A dive. Go ahead and push it past the vignette again. Thank you. The texture of the rock layered with the. Is it the beginning of the P or S? The nest. The sco 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 so The stolen is yeah. like what co connects them. Is that string? The stolen? Oh. Yeah. The stolen oh, can we zoom? Yeah. Stolen nipperims. Sure. You guys want to zoom on this stuff? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, and what's the pink afterward? Let's look at the pink. How about we get it both this in one shot? It is absolutely covered. So cool. Furry rock. The yeah. top of this, so we're like near waypoint nine, the top of the, the ridge feature. It's really cool. I really like this rock. Me too. All right, right. go rock. ahead and push on in there a bit, please. It's got cool bio stuff. Oh, it's got a little sponge. Everybody's happy. With perhaps a sponge associate. Yeah, some of that with like the webby stuff. Film stuff. An audience member was suggesting that we call ourselves the Noctambulists. The what? Noctambulist. I have to be able to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't say that one. Not it for you. That's not stolen, a friend. Cool. Not stolen, a friend. What? All right, full light, please. Are you Would sure? you like to stay here for some time, or uh, we proceed more to north as we are already in waypoint nine? Arborescence for Minifera. Is what? Back row. Would you guys want? Oh, just put a question oh, mark after. Sorry, that. back row. Um, I think we're. Deciding. Over edge. Uh, do we want to stick here for a minute? Um, this like top bridge feature is pretty interesting, but I think that we can move around a little on it. It's so uh, whatever you want. Covered. Uh, You're the boss. <laughs> I am getting bad at decision making at this point. Um, there are no wrong yeah, answers. Let's, let's oh. start slowly cool shot. moving. Yeah. How about a little bit like north northwest? Maybe drop down onto the west side of this. Wow, it goes for so far. That's an awesome oh feature right there. Wow. Isn't that? Looks like a face. Somewhere here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. How connected do you think that these organisms are? Like, is this a clonal colony? Or? Three, four, zero, Reg. I'm right. You can okay. go ahead and call it in. Bridge, this is Nav. Next move will be on bearing three four zero fifty meters. It's wild how yes. they just took over like this one chunk of rock. Yeah, why this one? That's awesome huh? shot. Thank you. Three four zero? Three four zero. I thought they said the east side. Did I miss that? It? Oh, they're gonna go Okay, Raj. I think they wanna go look at the they wanna go west a bit. Yeah, northwest. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I think I just misheard it. No worries. Yeah, at this point we're gonna just start free forming it. Cool, cool. Because we have um, run out of crinoid. dive track. We are at waypoint what? nine. Does that mean we're leaving our next watch to only have blue water? You have fun with that, folks. It felt like we took our time, though. We definitely stopped and looked at a lot of good stuff. Yeah, there's been a lot that's happened on this dive. I like this overhead view. Yeah. yeah of sort of those dense boulders. Coming or down. Boulder communities. Reg. 
Oh yeah, gotta keep remembering. I'm kind of tempted hmm, to take any DNA, and I know that that doesn't give us a background, but some of like the two, one of the two micro eDNAs was like really in a spot that didn't have anything. And I feel it could be background D. Biologist call. If we, if it keeps staying really dense, I'm thinking about it. Okay. Cause you know, sometimes w us getting 10 meters off bottom of a dense community doesn't feel more background than actually being in a uh, an area without a dense community on bottom. True. I'm following you around. Wow, it's really dropped off a bit. Right no, now. never mind. I'm just not seeing things. Man, ooh, what was that on the right? The yellow. What are these? These are crazy stocked crinoids. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we've seen these before, have we? Oh. No. Do we want to? Do we have? Are we able to do a quick zoom? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Yeah, I'm losing my ability to form sentences. No, you're doing great. <laughs> is that kind of in the wish list? Is that this phyrocrinidae? Is this on your wish list? I'm gonna have to get moving, guys. Do you want us okay. to drop a target? Um, sure, just in case. Chris says no, but I feel like. Oh, have please. you seen this? Are you sure? It looks just like your list. Okay. Either way, super cool. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen them before on this dive or this cruise, I think. Okay. We think those are like 70 centimeters. They're like huge. Uh, oh, okay. New species, but it has been collected before. Okay. Gotcha. That is on our wish list. So I will cross it off. Very different looking uh, distributions now that we're kind of moving off of the. Is there anything we can do to back me off? Uh, where is it? Was it? Never mind. It's okay. Yeah, we're just pulling you into deeper water right now. Well, I just won't descend as quickly. Okay. Although actually it looks like there's more stuff coming up, so I'll turn around okay. and look at it. Roger. Oh, no worries, Chris. Do -do -do -do. All right, guys, I'm gonna jet on out there and to hopefully approach this new clip site. Okay. Uh -huh. Just so many Ritagorgia. Yeah. 
Is it normal for those to be so dense like we're seeing? I do not know. Wow, wow, look at that. that. Roger. I have more of those cry stock crinoids. They're crazy. They're really big. You don't have to come down. I'll, I'll just come up a bit. Watch. I don't want to come down. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants you to come down. Please do not come down. Why is there suddenly so little? Okay, we should hand it off. Be like, it's been super lame. There's nothing. <laughs> definitely don't turn around I and look. Definitely see an octopus. Wow, the way this feature ends here, the toe of whatever this is, is super yeah. cool. I'm going to see if I can get rid of that glare. Mm. So is it just... Meh. Oh yeah, there is a weird... Yeah, okay, I want to turn this guy off then. There. Yeah. Ah, that did it. Um, if we want to keep the porch light off, the I can keep the iris high the only trade-off is that anywhere with sand or like white sponges is going to be blown out by default and then then come into correct color when we look at it roger yeah i think yeah when we were on the cliff faces it looked nice but yeah it's, it doesn't get that glary spot on our dome yeah i think so too plus i can give you a little bit more uh, range. Like, I can z go a little wider like this, too. Red. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. We Ready? may want to get one of those crinoids um, if we see it again, is what I'm hearing. Shall we wait? Good morning. Hello. Okay. Okay. Tired. We are at waypoint nine, and it has been super duper cool up at the top of this precipice. Um, there's and this. The rest of it. And the rest of it. It's been pretty cool in general. There's this really big stocked crinoid that Chris decided would be cool to collect. It is this one. It's like yellow and then ready. Um, other than that, yeah, lots of rocks. We got you one from, um, what was it, like 30? 30, what was the uh, about there? 32 and yeah cuz yeah so yeah we had this huge drop off uh yeah and then uh it dropped off again and it feels like we might have collected that sample a little bit early but we didn't know if it was going to come back up so yeah and just huge amounts of like it it's kind of stunning how how dense some of these populations are that we're seeing up here uh, a lot of Rudigorgia. We saw some Metallogorgia further down. We saw an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're going to start uh, turning over to the next watch, and we're going to try to get some sleep before uh, uh, 8 a.m. topside. So I'm going to go turn this over to Beth. Yeah. So that's one of those crinoids, uh, stocked crinoids. Oh, yeah. Right. Which we are going to try and collect. Oh, Raj, do you guys want to try to collect that? I think maybe zoom and make sure that it's it. Um, but yeah, probably. How do you collect we can leave it for the next watch, too. Yeah, totally. But I'll get them set up at least. Yeah. Thanks, Cap. It Captain. is so large. Yeah. I think that'll be a whole thing collection, but I can double check. Okay, give them a better angle. Okay, thank you. Leela D Diane is here if you want to. Mm -hmm. I'm going 
going to jump off as well and capture a couple videos. Have a good night, everyone. It doesn't matter. The sign. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. What a way to switch over. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Just did a shift change over to the four to eight watch. We're just getting settled in, so just give us a quick hey, second. Could you give me a moment? Sorry, I'm trying to. There was a camera issue that Stevens. Uh, working on oh okay no problem Raj hello back row hello hello hey we're gonna sample the circle thing uh, can I put that in the front um, I think it's going in the starboard okay um, and do we need to wait till we have camera stuff worked out Rhett uh, that would be great Okay, yeah. Okay. Just Before we sample it? Just so um, we can get imagery. Just a second, because I'm trying to look to make sure that one of the cameras um, was out earlier, so I'm trying to look to make sure it restarts when Steven goes over there. Okay. Were you trying to talk to me? I can't hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Huh, we 
weird. Okay, let me try turning you up. Okay. Just barely. All right, I think we're back. Are we already on our final waypoint, or are we still on the way to the final waypoint? No I idea. believe we've reached our final okay. waypoint. Thank you, Lynette. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Annabelle. Which means I don't know if I'm totally right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you sounded far away. <laughs> I only heard the last part of that conversation because it's not an SPL, so what are we doing? Okay. Uh, uh, medium easy? Yeah the northeast uh oh i see well i think that if we were going to follow a contour i think i'd rather go down slope to the directly east or directly west and then keep following that contour along north the whole way you know what i'm saying so do one quick step down this let's say let's say the east uh, aspect go down 50 meters say and then keep following that contour all the way north oh okay Okay. The stocked crinoid is bigger than the ones that we have usually yeah, seen. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Okay, and then keep going down the north side. It's a lot Slo of arms. So huh? down slope twice. I know. I'm excited to see how it comes up. Yeah, let me get you ready. You're to go down slope east. Do a highlight. Sure. Okay. Great. In the meantime, let's sample the circle. So do you want more imagery before we sample it? We've already had a couple zooms. I think we're good. Okay. And Diane, what was the plan? Are we trying to collect the whole thing or just a piece of this? I think we're trying to collect the whole thing and it's going to go on top of a couple of rocks because that's what we've got. Um, it could be either Echo or Foxtrot and there are floaties in that starboard box. Roger that. I've secured the starboard thruster. And this is also a floaty, so. Yeah. You know. Okay, I'll snip it then. We're going for the whole thing or just part of it? Whole thing. Whole thing. Okay. Whoa. Can you zoom in, please? Uh, always the chat takes forever to load. So we think th uh, this is a species that's on our wish list. Um, and it's a type of sea lily. Fernocrinidae, we think, as the genus, but that's part of the reason we want to collect it so that there's better understanding of what it was. Yeah, that wasn't a very good snip. That was a bad snip. Oh. Yeah. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Shooting star? <laughs> sort of. Oh, that's what just fell off, yeah. Yeah. Can you zoom in more, please? 
see how well I actually have it here. Uh, I don't like that at all. Okay, come up. Good there. Do a little, like, bit of a zoom in, please. Yeah, right there. All right, let's see if I can re-grab oh. that. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, well. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't like that grab at all. Well, that's why. Let's find it. Oh, corals. Nice. Do you want porch light for this? I think it's on. It is on. Never mind. I would like looking straight down in bubble cam. I you, can please. do that. Okay, zoom in please, just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Can you zoom in on bubble, please? Yeah. All right. Oh, what? Oh. Really? Oh, no. Okay. Can we slurp it? I think it's too big. I got to so. do a half grab and pick it up. Feather the feather the jaws not all the way closed. Oh, why is the vehicle moving? Don't do it. You are not easy to sample, are you? Very brittle. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Which box? Does anyone know what Starboard? Starboard right box shot. Let's Try see. either one. I don't love it. All right. If I go all the way closed, I keep zoomed in. Zoomed in, please. If I go all the way closed, I think I'm going to break it. So I'm going to have to halt it there. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oof, that's tenuous. Uh, okay, come wide, please. No, that's not going to stay. Oh, no. Yeah, if I even grab it too tight, it's just gone. Okay, how do we do this? Maybe I could slurp it. It's all folded up now. Yeah. But, uh, Can you scoop it? <laughs> and not over to the starboard side, no. No. I really, what I need to do is get it in the rubbery bit of the jaws, but it didn't work well last time. It just kind of broke. <coughs> I feel like I'm watching a romance scene in some Pixar movie where the <laughs> robot picks the, like, ocean flower <laughs> for his robot oh. love. <laughs> that would be a really good Pixar. <laughs> but it, it would be a short, though. It'd be, yeah, it would Pixar definitely short. be a short. <laughs> okay, well, the only hope is to get it here. I'm not able to get it up into the 
into this uh, tube part. So just gonna have to try our best here. We just shove it into the porch grating and hope it comes up. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh. Ah, this button is killing me. Can you? I just need to actually get the grip lock to go, but I can't watch the screen and the button at the same time. No. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Can I help press the button while you look at the screen? I don't think so. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, wow. oh nice. Oh. Don't don't get too excited yet. <laughs> It's not in the box yet. I get my some blood in my thumbs here. There we go. <sighs> okay. Um, are you full wide there, Steve? Full wide. Thank you. And can I see craft arm preset? Yes, sir. Oh, hi, Brandy. Brandy was the SCF or one of the SCFs on the last expedition. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for wishing us happy exploring. Hello. That's so nice. <laughs> I'd like to go into Echo, if possible. Uh, stand by. Okay, I'm standing by. Do we have floaty things in boxes? Yeah. Yep, okay. That last bit go in. Okay, you can close it. Good work. Good morning. Four a.m. Good morning. Yeah, first right thing. Just right out the gate. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow. Good morning to you guys. <laughs> right out the gate. Whoa. Let's all go back to bed now. Yeah. <laughs> Our work here is done. So we're no, we're not done. Uh, we're going to be collecting <laughs> another sample before we put in a ship's move. There's a request from our scientists ashore to try to collect a sample of one of the Swiftia coral colonies, which I think might be in the upper left here. There's a couple, um, I've heard that they've seen several. See craft arm, please? Yep. Which one, which one are we looking at, the orange one? So it is described as a small red, yellow, wispy colony. So let's get, um, my, I think it was to the left. Okay. Yes. Okay. That was lucky number so 100. Let's zoom in on this. So the left of the crinoid base. So might have been Oh, way over there. Not this close one? I'm not sure. I don't think it's in view. I think I saw it okay. briefly okay. to the left okay, when come we forward, were panning please. around. Pull wide. I could be making that up, but... Uh, is that going to go on the starboard side as well? Yes. Foxtrot, please. Foxtrot. All right. I think it's both of these that we're looking at, according to what we're seeing from our...